go live, it actually. That's where it starts doing yeah. it. Is right there. Yeah. Okay. Is it lined up? Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Well, uh, hi. Thank you for join. Thank you for joining us. I'm so excited thank to be you. here on uh, Scott Adams Coffee, whatever oh, the fuck podcast. It's, ca- it's called KK Coffee. <laughs> no. Thank you for. <laughs> Thank you for. Co- co- it's mostly milk, actually. Yeah. There's no black. I do not. I uh, like my. All right. <laughs> I, like, I like my coffee. Uh, like I like my hate groups, Vito. Yeah. All blacks. Oh, God. I mean, all black, not Scott, all blacks. Scott, come on. You can't. <laughs> just a little. Can't be just saying a these little things. four dimensional <laughs> chess for you, Vito. Vito, do you play games, Vito? Sometimes, How many dimensions yeah. do you play Normally in your games? Two or three. <gasps> you know, I play chess yeah. with all white pieces. <laughs> <laughs> what just is it about you humor, guys in just chess? Just a little what? 4D. You... Just a little 4D humor for you, Vito. <laughs> just a little 4D humor. Why are you guys uh-huh. always playing chess? It's Scott Adams plays chess. And Andrew Tate won't shut up about chess. That's right. What what appeals about that in your mind? Why does what do you, this, why what are do the stupidest play? people obsessed we... with chess? <laughs> That's what we want you to think. We want you to think. What is this guy, a stupid moron? He's playing chess, but actually we're all very intelligent. Can't very, you? very intelligent, very intelligent. My yeah. ancestors came here on the pilgrims. Okay. On the not pilgrims. Not on the, no, not on, <laughs> We rode the pilgrims rode on the, the pilgrims ship over. to get here. I just think you could, like, <laughs> devote your time to making a fun, stupid office comic as opposed to chastising black people on the internet for some weird poll you read. Oh, uh, can you put that in the in the form of a memo uh, or in the form of yeah. a Dilbert? Can you do that, please? <laughs> in the form of a Dilbert you, cartoon for you. <laughs> what are you saying? I shouldn't be chastising black people? No, I don't think there? so. <laughs> Have you ever met a black person, Vito? Yes, I've met many black people. Well, I haven't. Yeah, and I, didn't I plan think so. to keep it that way. <laughs> that why Just you... <laughs> a little four-dimensional chess for you, Vito. Just a little four-dimensional joke for you, Vito. How many chess Am I joking? Am I kidding? Yeah. I don't know. I don't. Couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you. you Are you black, by the way? I, uh, Do you have any in you? Well, Do you, you... want some? <laughs> <laughs> Scott, all this racial Let me check humor. my wallet. I mean, <laughs> oh, you're not black. Okay, I see. It's now because it, your wallet's now, is still it, there. Oh, yeah. see, that's you making the racist joke in your mind. I'm that's not. just a little 4D joke for you, Vito. It isn't 4D. Just a little 4D joke for I you, Vito. I just think that you know, if you just stuck to making little fun little comics. Why do you think that you, you are see, going to change race relations in America? You see my smile? Mostly white. That's how I li- I like my <laughs> smile like how I like my neighborhoods. What do you I don't If a black person moves into your neighborhood, how do you react? There's no fixing this. That's what I say. <laughs> there's no There's no fixing this. Yeah, you say that right to them? You say that right to them? Oh, my God. Stop stop laughing. It's terrible. You hear that? That's the laugh of a white man. Scott, shouldn't you celebrate the diversity of America, that there's so many beautiful colors of people? We all get to work together to make this country better. Have you ever seen Blackula? <laughs> yes, I've seen Blackula. You know Blackula. how many b- black people love Blackula? <laughs> okay. All, all of them. Blood-sucking parasite. No, bla- <laughs> no, that's terrible, Scott. Oh, my God. I just think that what you said was very insensitive. And, uh, you know, is there anything further you'd want to say to the black community to maybe clarify your comments? Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to have to yell it pretty loudly if I want to say something to black people. <laughs> Oh, why is that? Oh, I'll yell it all the way down to the ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> if I wanted to say something to okay. black people, I'd ride it on a bicycle and leave it outside. <laughs> Scott, that's horrible. That's horrible. Just a little four-dimensional jokes for you, you know. Just a little four-dimensional jokes. All right, let's do the actual <laughs> Oh, Scott, what are you doing to me? I bet you didn't think I could keep that under control. I, I pretty you, good. Yeah, you mastered it. I only it. came. I only got a little bit racist. And I, I'm a parts. little bit worried at how good you were at being <laughs> racist. I'm a little, a little concerned. My God, <laughs> Scott Adams, ladies and gentlemen, uh, here on the biggest problem in the universe. Welcome to the biggest problem in the universe. The only problem, the only show that ranks every 
problem in the universe from negotiating strategies to horny personalities. <laughs> That's by Mr. Magic AL. I'm your host, Dick Madison. Joining me as always is Vito Giswaldi. Hi, Dick. Great. How you doing? Scott's uh, out here solving race relations in America. Wow, can you believe that he came by and told some of his four-dimensional comedy it's to incredible. us? incredible. I'm so glad to have had Scott make an appearance on our fantastic podcast. He blocked me on Twitter. Really? That was a four-dimensional that's, block, though, because he wanted to come on the show. That's I didn't pretty know impressive. That. Mm-hmm. Uh, you really got under his skin. <laughs> he's he's out there solving. He doesn't know solving if I'm black or not. <laughs> the creator of Dilbert, letting America know. I posted know. that gif of me dancing. And he's like, <laughs> that's a little black to me. Get out of here. <laughs> he's uh, he's got a problem with the black community. I don't know. He thinks they're bad. He thinks they're a hate group. <laughs> let's let's be clear. Mm-hmm. He thinks they're a hate group. Oh right, right, right. <laughs> which is good, which is good. There's good hate groups, of course. I don't. He must love black people. I, I have no idea what's going on anymore. Can you imagine group. if like Charles Schultz from Peanuts one day just shows up and he's just like, "Oh, by the way, Charlie Brown hates black people." And it's like, "Oh, okay." Well, Ethan that's... Franklin. <laughs> yeah, he he tolerates Franklin. Franklin's one of the good ones, as Charles Schultz would put it. Uh, newspaper Gosh. comics, huh? And Andrew Tate has cancer. Andrew Tate. Oh, I was no, gonna say Andrew I'll Tate has cancer. Too. No, maybe later. <laughs> smoking like, all those cigars. Okay. It's not good. You shouldn't be smoking too many cigars. Uh, there. Are, I I was joking that he's smoking that cigar in the Greta video, and yeah. maybe that's the one that gave him cancer. And all these guys are in my mentions going, yeah, as if he would inhale that cigar. Yeah, Dick. I guess he doesn't know not to inhale cigars. I'm like, wait a minute. Do you guys think that? Smoking cigars does not cause lung cancer. Do you think that no amount of smoke from the cigar gets anywhere near your lung? Like, a little. It does. Yeah, yeah, It's in the middle. It's not as bad as cigarettes, but it's not not smoking. It does cause cancer. Clearly. All the smoke that's in your mouth, it doesn't all magically, like, trace amounts of the tar and the crap go down your freaking thing, of course. You guys have never, like, tasted pussy for a while after you ate it? Like, it's not (laughs) kind of. Right. Yeah, no, it, uh, it will cause cancer. Dick, we have an exciting announcement. We do. Drum roll. (laughs) Yes, it was connected. 10,000 YouTube subscribers. Can you believe it? Wow. It's incredible. And only half of them are bots that call us racist and sexist. Oh. No, no, no. They're all beautiful subscribers. Thank you for supporting the show. On YouTube. Going for on YouTube. Yeah. Not to mention all the other platforms where we have additional listeners. We've been going for uh, what, like a year and a half? Well, no, almost, almost two years. Almost, wow, technically. Uh, how many do you I think, think we'll May get up to before I get year. the account canceled? Yeah, well, we've been, uh, <laughs> been a little worried. Uh, I saw that uh, Revenge of No, not them. Uh, Legion of Skanks got their YouTube taken down recently. Hopefully, they get it back. But it kind of seems yeah. like they're getting more strict. Yeah, it does. Yeah, so I'm a little worried about how long will last. On I'm here. not worried. Oh, yeah, because you love getting canceled. It's, like, fun <laughs> and funny for you. Well, you know, so we were on that No Jumper show last week yes, with which Destiny. Hopefully we'll post by the time people listen to this. I feel like we should have come out harder on that show. And and danced around. I don't know, blackface, like something something that nobody would ever see. <laughs> Wait, let me tell the best part of No Jumper. Okay. It's like a hip-hop show, right? I guess, yeah. Well, we walk, you can see a basketball from every part of the office. It's, it's yeah, like a... Hip hop, even with your eyes closed, energy. you can see basketball. It's <laughs> yeah, the nicest way to put it. So we get up there, it's run by a white guy, though. Well, I, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I don't know who's in charge. Uh, you're right. You know what I'm saying, right. you know. Right. Uh, so we start the show with Adam, 22, right? Yes, Adam, yeah. 22, uh, and Destiny. And uh, for some reason, Disney comes up, and uh, uh, Pinocchio comes up, and Vito goes, "Yeah, and they made the fairy black." And I was like, Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they we have like a over that one pretty quickly. Me went, <laughs> uh, the whole time I'm sitting there just saying, okay, don't say anything, don't say anything black, Tinker, don't say anything black, don't say anything black. black. Yeah, they made Tinkleberry, Tinkleberry black. And I hate that because <laughs> yeah. those people, no, I didn't say that. <laughs> it's a little, it's a, I don't know how to, fi- honestly, I don't care if Tinkerbell is black. <laughs> you said it. Well, it's interesting that Disney it. does. It's I'm more offended that the Lost Boys now have girls in the Lost Boys. Sure. Like, what's the fuck is the point of the Lost Boys then? Yeah, doesn't make any sense. I love. Well, I make every character black. That's what I say. <laughs> black it up. 
Dark in America's. You should have said that, uh, said that at the time. I didn't say anything racist on the show. <laughs> Were there even black people in that room? Who was behind the camera? I don't see color. Oh, 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 oh Vito. <laughs> Scott, no. Oh, Vito. No, no, no. I'm Me not on either. your side. I didn't say anything Shut racist up, Scott. Either, Vito. No. Just looking at math. <laughs> I'm just looking at math. No, me and you are different. Do Scott, some math stop over it. coffee. No. I don't want there to be a black fairy either, Vito. Good, Even in RuPaul's good. Drag Race, I don't want there to be a black fairy. <laughs> I hate you so much, Scott. <laughs> Get out of here. I'm not on your side. We're not the same at all. We will, yes. Yeah, uh, no jumper appearance, us and Destiny. Yeah. People love when you and Destiny get together. You guys are uh, yeah. You guys are good buddies. I love Destiny. I loved when he I said- I made you guys stop sucking each other off, though. Because at the beginning, he's like, so how do you guys know each other? And you're like, you know, we've kind of like been uh, you know, around and blah, blah, blah. I'm on like, the internet. I'm like, you used to hate each other. Mm-hmm. You guys are like fucking trying to tiptoe around it. You guys used to be mortal enemies. Yeah. Anyway. And then you realize you could grift off each other, and now you got to pretend to be friends. And I you get know, it. I should bring grifting in. Yeah. As a, like the concept of it. It's a complicated concept. Yeah. Because a lot of things which are honest and real are not grifting. And a lot of things which appear to be are are grifting. Like s- sarcastic grifting. And like, anyway, that's not this time. We're going to do the, let's see who won. Who won, one, yes. <sighs> Indescribably. Yes. <laughs> the anchoring effect. We <laughs> are the champions, my friend. Anchoring effect. Number one, a problem which you and the great Chrissy Marr one of the funniest Satan women of her fighter, generation. Yes, have uh, tried to neg me on, and the audience has spoken. Because it's not even, it's not a problem, it's just a thing that happens. Everyone can do it. So how is it a problem? It's a problem because it's a uh, portion of the human psychology which must be overcome, identified and overcome. Right. It's like our urge to murder each other, you know? That's a problem. You use another example our on me, please. urge to molest the people around us. You're going to have to. Prob- <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's interesting. I have some comments on that problem, Dick. Okay. Uh, from Dark Loaf. Vito, fuck the haters. Do more autistic problems. I fucking love science. Mm. Rolling Thunder 3 said anchor pricing was a great problem. I'm glad I got to learn something instead of just listening to two guys riff on whatever was in the news this week. And Zack Attack 34 said Dick had no business talking shit on Vito's problem after his string of absolute dog shit problems recently. What the fuck? So the audience has spoken. Everyone loves Vito's smart, insightful problems, which yeah. bring real scientific things to the forefront. Mm-hmm. And uh, you and Chrissy got dunked on. Fuck you. Uh, okay. Well, uh, what were the places of the other two dog shit problems? Contouring was next. Well, at least you eked out a second. I don't know how. I think guys didn't understand that what I was saying was really <laughs> happening. They, they don't imagine understand someone the sculpting a piece of marble. They're like, I don't know what you're talking about. Of course you need to contour. Because their wives are probably the ones doing it. So like, mm. Well, that's not. I mean, I don't, I don't want to. Another absolute dog shit problem from Dick. And then kink personalities. Kink personalities. Too yeah. much kink. Yeah. Uh, which I agreed with that problem. But. Uh, Calix64 says, despite finally bringing a woman in, Dick and Vito still managed to make this the gayest episode yet. Hmm, okay. That's, yeah, that's my intention. Uh, Bevan Duker says, man, Vito's going to be jacked in 2024. I'm worried, uh, though, his bulking phase won't ever end. Is I'm almost that... done with the bulking. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I've got I've packed on enough protein that I'm ready to start really converting it. Oh. Do you have a date? Like a drop dead date? Yeah, like 2027. Okay. Uh, and I'll be properly bulked up. Not You're not worried about like the PS something coming out, the PS6 or something coming out? And oh, that might interfere. Spoiling us. That's fans. true. <laughs> Good point. Um, <clears throat> Jack Rockstar says, honestly, the anchor problem is solid. I didn't know that the person who said the first number has the advantage. I always thought like Dick. I also, always, I would always avoid naming a number. Now I'm like, shit, I guess I just got to get in there. Go high. Go high, or if you're trying to lowball, go low. Free. Hit him with one of those. I want it for free. Yeah. Well, see, you got you to be within reason. Not according to the science that you brought in. <laughs> you want to anchor him where you want to. If you go too low, you're going to you scare you him off. Me. You pay me to take you it away. Me. I came all the way out here to pay for some gas. Uh, Karandis is fun. Biggest problem episode. Make sure Vito knows he brought in the art of the deal as a solution. I got no problem with that. I never said Trump wasn't a great deal maker. 
Okay, good. Biden's just a better one because he made a deal with whatever cartel <laughs> stuffed all the ballot boxes. That's Mark, a joke. The DNC is the that DNC. cartel. Yeah. Martin O'Keefe says, I want to know what worthless uh, plastic trash Vito was tricked into buying because of the anchoring effect. That's a good question. Is that, did you buy anything? That's not why the anchoring effect came up. The anchoring effect came up because, uh, you know, I've been hiring guys to do stuff. Oh, yeah. Comic-related problems and whatever else. It's a fucking nightmare hiring. It everyone. is. Yeah. It makes you feel so bad for, all, like, Steve Jobs, who was bullied for being such a tyrant. Dude, anytime I hear about, yeah, anytime I hear about M Michael Bay was so mean on the set of yeah. this movie and he yelled at people, I'm like, because all these artists and actors or whatever the fuck are, like, unmotivated jackasses. Yeah. That, like, you kind of need a guy in charge who's just an asshole. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I agree. Assholes get results. Which that's why I'm a terrible boss, is I'm too nice to people. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 uh Lambertar. Oh, this guy's talking about gay stuff. Cool. Uh, Petty. Vito, 58 grams of sugar is like four scoops of ice cream. Stop drinking that shit. It's Are you not, drinking it's that? calories. Okay. It's 58 grams of, oh, it is 58 grams of sugar. Uh, four do do? scoops of ice cream. It's not four <laughs> scoops of ice cream. It's calories. Calories in, calories out. I only drink one a day. That's four scoops of ice cream a day. Good. That's not you enough know fucking what? food I deserve pyramid. It. I need it. What did you do today that you deserve it? I woke up and came into the studio for this right. stupid podcast. All right. Uh, and I was up last night preparing for my favorite segment. Oh, okay. Hold on. <laughs> Perfect cue. Perfect cue. Uh, well, I also moved off the screen because of the Sam, the Scott Adams thing. Here we go. It's your favorite podcast, but this show can't last if you don't go and vote on the problems. Vote it up. Go to the site. It's not The exciting segment where we re revisit past problems and add a little bit of context. Dick, do you remember the problem of Funko Pops from back in episode 18? Yeah. I hate those little plastic toys. And today I've received some exciting news that the Funko Toy Company has just released their most recent financial report, revealing they incurred a $50 million loss for the year 2022. The company says that much of the loss is related to their overflowing warehouse, with the company producing so much stupid plastic crap that they've been forced to rent shipping containers to hold their excess inventory. Yeah. The company now plans to eliminate as much as $36 million worth of inventory, so look forward to crates of Funko Pops coming soon to a landfill near you. They're going to be dumping $36 million worth of Funkos in the garbage. You happy about this? It's hilarious. They deserve it. Does that mean like all of your other plastic shit, ha like less people will be buying it too? No, it means my stuff goes up because the market is no longer flooded by those soulless little fucking plastic demons. It seems to me like there's just less money to spend on crap. So everything well, goes down. We're, we're entering, a, yeah, a period of weird inflation and scarcity or whatever. They're the calling hell. it Biden inflation. Did you hear that one? Wow, that's so clever. You guys with the little... <laughs> <laughs> little things. Point is, people have less money to spend on stupid little tchotchkes and garbage. Yeah. And uh, companies that produce the lowest quality garbage are going to be the first to suffer the effects. Oh, I see. Because okay. they've been pumping this stuff out in the factories and it's just filling up their warehouses, spilling into shipping containers. Why do you make so many of these fucking things? Have you seen how many of these things they make? Yeah. Every character can... with every variant. Chewbacca, but he's red and he glows in the dark. You're like, who needs this? I, I don't know. I don't know why you need to own those dumb yeah, little things. Terrible. I don't know why you need to own any of it. Exactly. Well, plastic some shit. Some plastic toys are great. What do you do with it? You look at them and like, you admire them and you're inspired to create. You touch it? Can, Can you, you just touch a picture a of it? Like print out a picture of it? What no, is the difference? It's nice that it's in 3D and you can examine it from different angles. Yeah. 
look, I'm a, I'm a designer. I'm a, I'm an, I'm an artist. I, okay. I need good. Anyway, guys, that's currently problem number 113 with 374 upvotes. Don't forget to vote it up. Another great problem, Dick, from bonus episode number seven was the fear of drag. Oh, yeah. Well, Tennessee Governor Bill Everyone's Lee, favorite topic. Everyone's favorite topic. Fucking drag queens. We can't stop talking about it. But now they're taking legal action. We can, I love this one. Well, we can we can care about more than one thing. <laughs> Whenever I go, like, why do you give a shit about this? Like, the debt is this, and yeah. <laughs> fucking war in Ukraine, you're paying this much no, taxes. The most important we can thing. care about more than one thing. Like, you guys can't even care about one thing because you're too fucking dumb. Look at you. <laughs> Look at your lives. They're trashed. You can't care about anything. It does feel like there are more pressing issues. Point is, Dick, that uh, Tennessee Governor <laughs> Bill Lee has signed legislation that would severely limit where drag shows can take place. Under the Tennessee bill, the words drag show are not explicitly stated, but the legislation will change the definition of adult cabaret to mean adult-oriented performances harmful to minors, <laughs> and that male or female impersonators are now considered adult cabaret, along with topless dancers, go-go dancers, exotic dancers, and strippers. Even to 17-year-olds seven, oh, can't go to a drag show? No, it's it's if you put on a dress, you are a stripper, according to... Uh, you're Harmful in the same, to minors. You're in the same category Not as even strippers children. and topless dancers. Wow, that's sure. That's amazing. Uh, this proposal will ban adult cabaret from taking place on public property or any place where minors might be present... Uh, it is a misdemeanor charge, but a felony if it is a repeat <laughs> offense. So if you put on a dress and make fun of women too often, you might catch a felony charge. Seems a little extreme. <laughs> you think? It would be one thing if they narrowed it down. I mean, you already have obscenity laws, as people are arguing. They're like, look, you can't just just say, yeah, you can't be naked in front of kids or you can't do like a sexual performance in front of kids. But to ban... To say that just dressing up in drag is inherently sexual in the same to category. Minors, to minors, not kids. Minors. Yeah. Minors. Can 17-year-olds 17, do it with themselves? No, they're not allowed. They're not allowed to, to do a, They can't put on a little cabaret, whatever the fuck show, in uh, drag. Great. Uh, so can I shut down a school? If I was, instead of calling in a bomb threat, if I have like a test in high school, could I show up <laughs> in, in drag, drag and, and just start going, uh, 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 Oh my God. And all the teachers are like, oh, fuck, I'm going to fucking prison. We got to get out of here. Get out of here. He's doing it again. Uh, uh, uh. And me and all my like bros from the fucking yeah. baseball team are, are all, all dressed drag. as women. You're dancing, yeah, doing like Spice Girls fake shit, tits <laughs> bouncing around. <laughs> you stuff your bra. Yeah, uh, would you become one? <laughs> Get it the fuck out of no, here! No, you're not allowed to do that. Kick that's, indoors. That's inherently an hey, adult Mr. performance. Hey, Mr. Armstrong, what do you think well, of these? Yeah. <laughs> Pedophile! <laughs> Get him out of here! Sexual drag <laughs> performance. <laughs> It does, it does feel like this law was not very well thought out. If you're a teenager, you can do whatever you want. That's what I learned growing yeah, up. Yeah, basically. You can do anything. Yeah, there's, there's nothing they can Just do. Just don't kill yourself, whatever it is. Yeah, they're really- they're get really, away with it. They're really worried about that. <laughs> guys, the fear of drag is currently problem number 340 with 228 down votes. Guys, this is a free speech issue. If you want to ban sexual whatever, okay, I would understand, but you're saying- Dressing up as a woman and going, oh, I'm so sexy. Look at how pretty I am. You're going to put a guy in jail for that? That's funny. That's, stu that's stupid. You know, you got to be more specific with these laws. Uh, it really feels like they're coming after uh, some free speech there. I don't like it. Of the fear not. of drag. It's retarded. It's very retarded. <laughs> uh, the people you're protecting are retarded. Guys, vote it up. That's the segment. Right. Everybody loves it. It's your... Favorite uh, podcast, but this show can't last. I thought you were going to use different words in this song. Don't I'll go tell you where. You'll tell say, Yeah, I sing where. Vote on the Not yet. problems. Vote it I was waiting for was that the worried, whole thing. I was worried that I've been doing too many uh, threats. I've to been your waiting family. for it though. 
<laughs> I never you know, usually do gay stuff. Yeah, That's I what I was wondering. I was like, here, okay, here your, it comes. Here I'll it comes. Kill your family would have worked. Set as up well. perfectly. It is pretty well set up. I figured I'd catch people off guard and let them know that they are homosexual if they subverting do not vote. Subverting expectations. I'm, I'm subverting expectations. I'm also subverting expectations for being the three-time winner, I believe. I'm on a streak. Dick's got to start picking it up. But as the winner, I've brought in a problem, Dick, which uh, will probably do terribly because it's a, mm. it's a serious problem. Okay. My problem, Dick, is what I'm calling community detachment. It's dumb. Sounds dumb already. It does sound dumb. And I feel dumb about it. But <laughs> while I'm doing it, I'm doing I'm it starting. regardless. <laughs> well, here's the thing is community detachment. Yeah. Well, because there's this like certain part of all of us of this kind of internet space or whatever, you know, where you're just okay. jaded and nihilistic and you go, okay. ah, fuck everybody. I'm out for myself. You know, everybody's an idiot. I'm the greatest. The only thing that matters is my entire community is built on that. (laughs) What do you mean? (laughs) But I think (laughs) that beyond our jaded uh, exteriors, within all of us, there is a certain desire to belong. Kill people. No, no. All right. Oh, no. (laughs) Excuse me. To belong to a community. And what better community to belong to than, than your local community? To be involved locally with the people you see on the street, your neighbors, the uh, your loved ones, your family, everybody, everybody. The people that made me get vaccinated and masks and all that? Not, not, not all vaccinated, of them. But, not necessarily. Okay. I like to think that there was a period in time in this country where people felt connected to their communities and, you know, wanted to make them a better place. You didn't just go, oh, I'll just, like, leave my garbage everywhere and shit in the street because it doesn't matter and I don't care about anything. Someone else will pick it up. Fuck that. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) There's no sense of uh, pride in your community anymore because... You're not connected to it. It's like it doesn't matter. Is this I see- like a Coke? Is it, are you getting this from like an ad from the 50s? Like that's what <laughs> things, look what they took from us. And it's me and Vito and this community. What I'm getting this from is I'm, I'm running for mayor. I'm Mayor Vito. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I mean, kind of like, isn't that the ideal? It's beautiful. You would see that on like TV and the neighbors, whatever. I know, yeah. it's, I know it's an illusion, you know, and we kept, it's, there's a whole lot there, but... I've been watching these videos recently of all these these horrible shoplifting uh, incidents, right? Where everybody, these guys just go into the store and they're just pulling shit off the fucking shelf and putting it in their cart and pushing it out the door. <laughs> and what does everybody, what do all the bystanders do? They just go, If at most they'll go, Watch em. at most they'll go, oh, he really shouldn't be doing that. Yeah. You really shouldn't be doing that. Yeah. But if anything, you just watch and you go, yep. You're taking the side of you should get involved in a fucking shoplifting? Well, I no, but never he, thought I would see but this day. <laughs> Here's the you. Th- hold on, hold on, <laughs> hold on. I understand why they don't get involved because they have no attachment to any of this because these stores are not, all our stores have been replaced by these big corporate entities where I don't know the name of the guy who owns my local target. It's probably uh, owned by the corporate office. I don't know if they're a franchise. If I gave you two names, would you pick the one that might? All right. (laughs) (laughs) What if I told you his name ends in Steen? Okay, I know. I know. Fine. Look up who owns Target. I'll tell you who it's not, Vito. Who's the one doing all the shoplifting? Stop it, Scott. (laughs) Scott, get out of here. Stop it. Uh, Yeah, I know who's doing the shoplifting. Regardless. (laughs) It's not. Ne- I'm also doing the shoplifting, as we've discussed on the bonus episode. Oh, do you want to tell that story that you? Uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to. I have to part of it. Are you allowed to hint at it? That what? That, that there somebody exists. There exists footage, footage of yeah. me being <laughs> shoplifting at Target. And that a fan. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say somebody found the footage of me shoplifting and sent it to me. And I'm like, well, that's fucking hilarious. Uh, Uh, Buddy, you should have sent it to me. No, don't send it to Dick. Please, for the love of God, I'm so glad he didn't send it to anybody else. Uh, But the point is that we don't feel... Like I would never steal from like a local. I don't. You know, I don't shoplift. But if I was a shoplifter, I wouldn't shoplift from like a local store because yeah. you know you feel connected to Mr. Hooper. I wouldn't steal from Mr. Hooper. Yeah, but we now live in a society where everything is just this big stupid corporate conglomerate. So you see yeah. a guy stealing a bunch of shit and you go, awesome. Yeah, go nuts. Yeah. What can I? What can I do? Dick. A recent survey found that nearly two out of three millennials said they don't feel like they belong in the communities they lived in. 
Uh, their physical location. Yeah, they feel- everybody belongs to. I mean, the Milady community is one of the most ama- amazing, vibrant, no, uh, accepting, <laughs> fun communities I've ever been involved in. The that mo- is spread out over the whole world. You, the, oh, there is a sense of community. Do you just want it to be a local community? Yeah, well, 43% of millennials say they feel more attached to online communities than any offline community. So yeah. it's kind of like, well, yeah, but that's weird. Like, shouldn't you be able, you live in a place you're, you're for your whole, you know, life, hopefully, or yeah. at least a d- decent portion of it. Yeah. And I realize I don't know really any of my neighbors. Do you want Some, to? I don't know any of my local business. Yes, you I would like know to. any of these fuckers. <laughs> I want to go online and fucking say N words with furries. Is this how we become radicalized psychopaths? Yes, is that instead of great. being forced to integrate, you have with- to be your full your potential. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would be nice, is you know, again, and then you watch. You, you, okay, you can do that, but then you go outside and you look, and the and the, ne- the neighborhood's crumbling, and there's broken windows, and there's. Well, we're not going to talk about broken windows, but you know, there's. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Everything's crumbling all around you. There's crime. Everybody's an asshole to everybody else. The it's crime just... is because it's a Democrat state. No, it's that's not... not why. They have crime in Republican states as well, you fucking idiot. No, they not like this. They don't. Yeah, well, because we just happen to take care of the homeless people rather than sending them to die in a desert. That's why we have more crime. Sorry that we allow them to live their lives instead of bussing them somewhere. I'll tell you why we have more crime. God damn it. (laughs) You know, (laughs) the answer might actually surprise you. No, stop it. You're going to ban from YouTube, Scott. Get out of here. Oh, no, he talks all slow. (laughs) Actually, the reason we have so much crime is... It's not socioeconomics. A survey of a 1,000 millennials found that 64% of them felt disconnected from their community. Now, here's the reason that they give. The most popular response is that they don't have time to invest in their community. That millennials are so busy working and trying to make a life for themselves and struggling to stay afloat that they don't have time to... You know, coach a youth softball league or volunteer at the fuck youth softball YMCA fuck or whatever the fuck. I don't know. This is like fifty shit that you want us to go back. Do I have time for this dumb shit? <laughs> Look, softball leagues. <laughs> hey kids, good job. Play a piece of sportsmanship. Oh. You don't think now we have to put the girl, the one girl on the team, in for an inning? Everyone fucking knows that we could fucking lose. I think it would be nice to be able to give back. Again, this is why I'm a big proponent. Give back. Yeah, the give back. Fuck that. <laughs> I am still in discernment See, of some stuff. You're the example of why people are so detached from their communities. They're so jaded and uh, completely out for themselves, completely selfish. I can't even tell you you're wrong. I mean, you are wrong, but I understand why you feel that way. Me, as someone who cares about my fellow man and the betterment of the world around me, and, I, and not to mention that by elevating my community, I elevate the community in which I live and I benefit directly from it. Uh, sadly. Where's my fucking money? That's what I want to know. If I drop my guard for one second, if I can get to know one of these motherfuckers, all of a sudden it's, oh, my dog has cancer. Do you have any money lying around there so I could get some cancer treatment for well, my dog? Well, it's interesting you bring up economic concerns because that does seem to be the root of much of this discontent about, you know, why yeah. why people can't get involved in their communities because they're too busy scrambling to make a dollar. Yeah. Uh, and, it's, and it's sad. It's sad that our, our this coming generation can't find community at home and has to go online. And then, you know, next thing you know, they're in a community of guys who jerk off pigeons and then that's where they're trapped. And they think that's normal. Jerking off pigeons are bad. (laughs) Any other type of animal. (laughs) That's fine. That's a medical procedure. Okay. So in your mind, you know it's wrong. In your mind, that's called a Freudian slip. Shut up. In your mind, you know it's wrong to jerk off animals. If the pigeon was in heat, it would be fine. Look. The point is eggs shooting all over. Do you think it, <laughs> like Pac-Man? I'll, I'll, I'll. Do you think that the online communities these kids are getting involved in are more healthy than you know getting involved in your local community? Do you think it's good that they go online and they become I don't know addicted Remilio to snuff lovers porn and, and fucking calling each other the N word and everything else? Yeah, we're just ra- everyone's becoming a radicalized psychopath because they have no other place to go. Why do you think people are going to Jordan Peterson looking for a sense of community? You know that's a problem. You know, you know that's why they're going to that fucking guy and they're going no, to Tim. Because they Poole. had Jerry Falwell and shit, and they have they've had no. religious. 
idiots all the way back to the beginning of time. They the worship these now, fucking not morons. The way, now that they're searching for their dad, nobody thought Jerry Falwell was their was their surrogate. They father. thought he was their god. <laughs> It's way worse now than it ever was. These kids are desperate. Well, you're just exposed for a sense to it all the community. time. Uh, yeah, I you're see what's going on. Ladies on the show, I'm not going to allow you to sit there and shit talk Miladies or Romilios <laughs> or Oikakis. Look, some of them are. I have no idea what half of these fucking things are. But <laughs> you need some, a community. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe I do need. Okay, a community. so who's going? Who went to Chrissy Mayer's comedy show? Last week. You did. And where were you? I was at home working. So, you know, <laughs> you have to leave and go to your local comedian's comedy show was if you want to have a fucking real community. I understand that, okay? And I look, if I just assumed Chrissy Mayer didn't actually want me there. I, that was my assumption. Why? I don't know. I assumed that, like, you know, our relationship is now one of these, like, yeah, I'll come on your show, you know? I assume she still hates me. This you're causing this community disconnect because your insecurities are like overwhelming your natural compulsion to go out and be social with people. Honestly, I looked up the venue and I went, that place looks like a shithole. I don't want to go. <laughs> you went to that venue. That venue is a shithole, is it not? Probably the worst venue I've ever that seen. Looked, it looked terrible. There, the bar has seating for like three people. I'm they like, had they had a bunch of trophies up in yeah. the corner, and I said, "What are those trophies for?" And the guy said, "Rape." <laughs> <laughs> well, the number one rape club I, I, I in the they were like Southern bowling California or area. No, she said Elks Lodge. Yeah, and I was like, and I assumed like an Elks Lodge, which well, I have been to. I assumed the Elks Lodge in Pasadena, which I've been to, yeah. is very nice. So yeah. we went to the Elks Lodge, like you know. Oh, you went there, and then yeah, you realized it was the wrong place, and there was nobody there. We walked around, knocking on doors. I'm like, yeah. man, this is like a showtime's in like five minutes, and there's nobody here. And then you, before that, you had said it looks like a shithole. I'm like, all via, like all. Yeah, lodges you were look like, like that. no, they all look like that. And I'm like, really? Because that place looks like somebody's house. Like, I thought you were just making excuses. No, I, I, I literally go. was like, oh my god, that looks like it's gonna be terrible. So like, then, at, when we realized that this was the wrong place, I was like, well, let's look up the actual venue. And we pulled it up her website. It was like, oh, it doesn't say Elks Lodge. It just has an address. And I punched the address in. And it's in like it was on like North Lake, North Pasadena. Yeah. And our friend goes, uh, uh, "Oh, what 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 does that mean?" I said, "Well, they have a Roscoe's up there." If that, <laughs> I just looked at it. I'm like, the bar had three seats. What does and they that had like mean? a bunch of folding chairs. <laughs> yeah, <Stop it>, Scott, <laughs> stop making assumptions about community. And it was a like cinder block igloo. Constru yeah. <laughs> It's funny because she she was literally saying uh, I shouldn't I shouldn't talk shit. She did great though. She did, I'm sure was she great. did. If it was I was just like when she said I'm doing comedy in Elks Lodge, I was excited. I'm like, oh, I like Elks Lodges. You go, you get a beer, you hang yeah, out. Yeah, it was called the Sunset Lodge. Yeah, and then I looked at it. I'm like, this just looks like the, the apocalypse. ghetto. Which um, I love the ghetto, but <laughs> all right. Uh, anyway, look, yes, maybe yeah. I should. She did great. You should have come. I should have come. Carl was there. Spitali. Oh, Carl Spitali showed up. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Not Josh. Josh not getting into, no. Not getting into that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> nothing. There's nothing going on. I'm so bad at just keeping my mouth shut. Uh, and, you want, and you're wondering why you don't why have I'm a, not a part social of community? disconnect? You are the reason. <laughs> I, you're I, the reason we don't I, have them I, anymore. I ruin every community I'm in. Anytime it's like, hey, we could get a guy on the show, I go, that guy sucks. Fuck that guy. No, I get guests. Point is, guys, I think we all want to belong to something. Right now, kids are running to the Jordan Petersons of the world because they feel disconnected from their community. They don't have yeah. enough time to get involved with In their, their local, Yeah. <sighs> with their local 4-H club or whatever the fuck else. I think all that stuff is interesting. Wouldn't you like to belong to, like, uh, the, like the what are the famous clubs? The, the March of Dimes or whatever the fuck? Or is that a charity? I don't want to get involved in all this dumb shit. The VFW stand out in the club and, shit. and listen to boomers talk about their fucking opinions. Have a place you feel like you belong. Real life is just, real people is just like having to listen to 70 different podcasts that you don't want to listen to all week. Does that sound fun to you? Like, oh, well, here comes this asshole's podcast. Let's hear it, shithead. What I do you want to start a church. Do you want to start a church with me? No. I think we need to start a church and bring community back to people's lives. Like a molesting church? No, like, like a good church. Like a... I have a whole theory. With God? 
Well, with whatever you think God is, you know. Me. Sure. I just want honestly like a non pro like a like a tax free hangout spot. And you just make it a religion because then they can't do anything about it. <laughs> okay. And it would just be like a place for cool guys to go. <laughs> And play games and hang out and drink an beers. An arcade, that's what you want. I want an arcade, but I want it to be classified as a church. As a church, okay. I think we could do it. All right. Vito's Game Church. Point is, guys, community detachment. It's a real problem. We could fundraise off it, sell NFTs as permanent memberships, something like that, like a golf course. I got a whole thing in mind. And then we'd have one room for each major religious, you know, we'd have like a priest, a rabbi. Can there be whores? No. Why? Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> What's what the way? point of all this socializing? <laughs> How would you have whores in the ch- I feel like you're going to get in trouble. How would you have whores, <laughs> he says. I feel like you're Very gonna, easily. I feel like you're going to fuck with our tax status if you go, here's our rabbi, here's our priest, and here's our whores, whores. For, our, for our congregation to have hor- <laughs> horrific sex with. Uh, all right, Dick, what do you got for me? Uh, <clears throat> the homeless. Scott Adams give you this one? Not homelessness. Not homelessness. So actually, Vito, it's a myth that, uh, w- oh, no, wait, it's not a myth that it impacts. <laughs> <minorities>. African-American <laughs> I went minority to a, I went to a website that had all the myths about homelessness, and yeah. that was number one. It affects minorities. Clicked on it. Not a myth. <laughs> it's not a good myth page that you guys put <laughs> together here. Yeah. Uh, did you see that guy, that homeless guy that was lit on fire? And the guy threw was a bicycle that a at him. Guy? I mean, I assume it was a homeless guy. Who else is guy? getting lit on fire? But hey, did he light himself on fire? <laughs> Are we allowed to we show shouldn't this? Be I don't so- know what we're oh, allowed no, to show Oh, no, I got anymore. a strike for showing that 17-year-old kid beat that lady that stole his Nintendo. I know, that's crazy. Okay, well, I'm not showing it then. I'm not showing any of these you, clips. I, don't, <laughs> we, I got a strike. I can't do shit for like a week and a half or whatever it is. That's crazy. Guy got lit on fire. Other guy throws a bike at him. And the whole time, and when he's doing it, I'm thinking, you can nail that son of a bitch. <laughs> All the bikes he's <laughs> fucking ripped off. Not well, homeless. The hom- the problem is not homelessness. It's yeah. the homeless. I think he was trying to knock him into the ground so the guy would stop, drop, and roll because the guy was just walking around and go on fire going, I don't know what to do. That's the thing it's about like, being on fire. You could throw whatever you want at them and everyone <laughs> will just excuse it. You could throw a soda can at them. Hold you on. could throw a garbage <laughs> can at them. You could throw a chair. If you grab a folding chair, you could just throw it at him if he's on fire and people go like, well, yeah, that's probably okay so your your excitement about people being on fire is you can do whatever you want to them yes if if (laughs) unless unless they are running around with pinwheeling their arms like this Mm. this is why i don't leave the chat up because you read it i'm just making sure the audio is fine if you run around if you catch on fire and you run around with your arms pinwheeling yeah i'll let you slide and just watch it but if you're standing there (laughs) like a mummy yeah on fire. I'm throwing something at you. I feel like this problem is no longer about the homeless. I think, I think the problem is Dick is disappointed he didn't have a guy on Crime fire to throw stuff at. Crime data released oh, by the no. DA no, reveals no. that homeless individuals. Yeah. It, that's what percent of them. It's supposed to be individuals experiencing homelessness. Is experiencing, yeah. 500 times more likely to commit crimes. 500%? 500 times more likely. That's 50,000%. Uh, that's crazy. <laughs> I was going to say five times would be. Five hundred I mean, times. That, that means that makes, they're constantly committing crimes. Well, is, isn't this their existence a crime? Isn't it that the should point? Be. No, no. But I'm saying, you know, what crimes exactly? You know. Thievery. Setting up Fucking her- setting up a tent in the wrong place. You ever try to be at my- Trying to enjoy a warm fire on a, on just, a winter's night. They're just fucking everywhere. They're always in your shit. They're always, even if they're not being like- like harmful and uh, menacing, they're doing cute little routines that are wasting your what fucking you time. Cute little and homeless routine. homeless people are like a pop up ad in real life. Yeah, and like I can't find the X, bro. This is like a mobile pop up ad in real life. I just wish it was fucking gone. I don't care <laughs> how, just get it the fuck out of my face. So wait, your problem with homeless? No, I don't have any change, dude. It's the fucking tooth. It's 2023. Yeah. I haven't touched any change in like five years. Why don't you get a fucking clue, you <laughs> dumb homeless idiot? Why don't they get square readers, all the homeless? That'd be pretty funny. Because they're fucking dumb. That's why. (laughs) Hold on. Some of these people are just down on their luck. They might be experiencing mental illness. You know, there's there's a lot of reasons. Some might end up homeless. Not just they're 
evil criminals. Who formerly have to be dealt incarcer- with. incarcerated people, formerly incarcerated, are almost ten times more likely to be homeless than the general public. How about well, that? That's sad for them. That seems like a society. It's worse failing. for me though. Now, why is it worse for you? Because I got to fucking deal with it. They have to live on the street. Yeah, but that's the they're they're all day is that's the worst thing that will ever happen to them. Yeah. I have a worse thing that could happen to me, which is encountering them. So my normal, <laughs> like there could be like a space alien and the worst part of his day would be running into me, right? And I would say, no. I'm literally sorry for existing <laughs> and inconveniencing you your great life. So, so why don't they fucking understand so a that? a homeless guy coming up to you and asking you for a nickel is, is worse to you than having to live on the street. Yeah. Okay. Because it gets, this is a bad part of my day. Um... <laughs> The problem is worse in large urban areas. Uh, oh, yeah. New York City, 54% of people released from prison move straight into the city's shelter system, which is basically homeless. Yeah. All criminals, basically. Well, shouldn't we have more shelters, maybe? <sighs> no, because they'll ruin them. That's the funniest part about the homeless, yeah, right? Look, is- the reason I'm, there's all kinds of people who want to act like they're like fucking uh, Mother Teresa. So mm. like, oh, we got to do something about these h- fucking homeless, you know? Sure. Why are we Why are we doing all this stuff? We really need to be worried about the homeless. But the a- real reason is is because fuck the homeless. <laughs> the, there's millions of apartments available right now, yeah. but we can't even let them in there because they'll mess them all up. Take all the copper out of the walls. Or whatever they're doing, put extra copper in. Yeah. Who knows what they do? Why don't we just, like, find, like, an island... I'm listening. And, uh, you know, build, like, some not great places. But, you know, like a bunch of places. And just go, homeless guys will make you a deal. At any point, you can go to Homeless Island. Mm-hmm. You know, you get one cheeseburger a day. All the liquor you can drink. You just got to go through those doors. It's right on the other side. There's a boat over there waiting to take What's on you the other to the side home- of your door, Dick? Why do I have the feeling there's no boat over there? Just go check. Go I want an actual see. island. Go you want a trick island. <laughs> That I just sends them into a meat everybody grinder. some money. <laughs> we sent all the criminals to Australia, and that worked. Why don't we send all the homeless to New Australia? Yeah, or just send them to regular Australia. Just Why send don't them we to put the fucking our- moon, man? I'm so fucking tired yeah. of them sitting there next to your car door. You want me to open your door? Oh, I've man. never. Had- where are you? Where are you ha- going in LA? That they try to open your car door for you? They do that to my girlfriend all the fucking time. Really? Yeah, she's going to Pilates in the morning. I've gotten the. I've gotten the. They like- stand there outside uh, <laughs> like zombies. I've gotten the guy with the the water bottle and the dirty rag wants to clean my window. That's fine. I got no problem. I'll give him a, a dollar for that. Don't even look at my car. No, I don't um, have a nice car anyway. <clears throat> Shouldn't we care about our you know more destitute among us, uh, Dick? No, because they're all doing crimes and rapes. Well, what do you want to do with them? <laughs> Just have Scott the, Adams say it, then you're the okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's your shield. Uh, I'll tell you what Scott Adams wants to do with them. I can tell you that right now. Well, actually, the thing we could do is grind them up in a meatloaf for our more uh, uh, discerning culinary citizens. Eighteen percent. Oh, wow. 18% of women homeless will be raped during their lifetime. And 1% of men. Why are you laughing at that stat? I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) What? So the other 80% of women weren't raped? Weren't raped? Oh, I got nothing to do down there. Like, the rapists go, like, all right, I'm done raping for today. I'm all raped out. I've raped about 20% of you, and uh, I'm coming back for the same 20%. As of 2020, women account for 40% of those individuals experiencing homelessness. So. That's a lot. I never know why they give me that stat. What is that? What what am I supposed to do with the knowledge? You're supposed to care more because they're fucking. Because you're su- actually. But that means most of them are men. Well, yeah, but you're supposed to go like, oh man, I wish I could like adopt a stray woman off the street and like clean her up. You can just put some fentanyl in a bag and on the end of a fishing rod and lure her into your house. This is how bad the homeless are. All these women, no, no one would f- clean them up and fuck them. <laughs> like, how bad do you have to be well, as the, a woman? So all the got, meth sores and everything. You know, there's a lot that to shit, deal with. That shit washes up. <laughs> meth sores do not wash up, sir. <laughs> it takes Only some, 20, it takes to, some time. 20 to 40% of homeless have a substance abuse issue. So actually. So 60% of them are just women. Okay, so wait, you said 40% of them have substance 20 abuse? 20 to 40. 20 I don't know why that's that number is. I don't know why they ever don't just say the middle one. Yeah. 30%. So that means of these 40% women, 60% of them do not have meth sores. 
That's mm. a pretty good number of women to yeah. Go go get yourself a wife, trad guys. Go find a go find a crazy homeless lady and put her in a fucking nineteen fifties dress and tell her to make you I don't know, fucking mayo pie or whatever the fuck you're excited about. Hmm. Um let me see if I have any more stats. Tell her to raise your three point five children in your perfect yeah. ranch style home. Yeah. Um, I think, Dick, that the homeless, you know, it's tragic what's going on, but there's not really an easy solution because so many of them suffer from mental illness. We just got to solve, we got to make a deal with them. Like wolves fix, we'll make houses for half of you, but the other half got to go. Or like we'll Thanos. set up a battle royale style situation where you have to fight for and there's one homeless the left. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we, have one, he, <laughs> we build for each hundred homeless people. We build one house. Yeah. with a big arena around it. Oh, and we go whoever's left standing Kids. gets this plot of land and a donkey. And you know you can subsistence farm. Yeah. I just think they I think I just came up with a great premise for a movie. I feel like this is like a legit good like science fiction horror thriller. I think that America solved the housing problem with the homeless wars. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Homeless City, USA. And there's a hundred of them. There's a hundred homes and a thousand homeless or a ten thousand homeless. Ten thousand homeless. We have ten thousand homeless people, and they've got to live together in, in one house. <laughs> <laughs> Meet Aaron. Yeah, there's got to be a more Anthony, Albert. I, yeah, right. Because it's a the only real solution to the homeless problem is to ship them to a state with a cold climate and let them freeze to death. I'm tired of even trying to think about homeless solution problems. Yeah, you know, because then you got to be you got to go. Oh well, actually, it's the government that's putting all stop to all the low housing. Like, oh well, actually, like I, I'm so fucking tired of this shit. I'm okay with what we have right. I don't know. I'm okay with the tents. I don't care. You don't go outside though. I don't go to fucking Skid Row. They're digging through your trash. They climb all the way up the hill and dig through well, your that, stuff. Yeah, you gotta push them down the hill. I get that. I mean, we need rollers on all the yeah, we like need, cattle guards. All <laughs> homeless people have to wear roller skates, so they're easier to push yeah, away I had from this us. Solution <laughs> on my show. <laughs> what? <laughs> that, they all, that they should all wear rollers. They all have to wear roller skates. <laughs> Legally. Because then they could have dispersed a little bit. Did you really come up with that? Because yeah. I swear to God, yeah. I just came up with that. No, you know, like those, remember those roller slides on the playground as a kid where it's like a yeah, long a flat bunch of side and it's a bunch of rollers and you can't run up it? Right. That's what we just have to put. We have to so dig a big pit slopes around and throw row. all the homeless in there <laughs> so they can't run up. <laughs> and then just pave over yeah. it. Yeah. And then you can just push them away if the they're women know what The trouble. women listening to the show know what I'm talking about fair enough all right that's my problem it's a good problem homeless, dick. not homelessness dick i got a problem it's short but sweet uh broken usb cables what oh. how do usb cables i don't get it i don't get it i keep buying them they never work i don't know mm -hmm. if i'm buying the wrong ones and then i look online i'm like well how do i get a good usb cable and they're like well it's all about the wire gauge you want a lower gauge because it's a thicker cable oh. and then i go on amazon and i'm like well what's the gauge of this fucking one they're like i don't mm -hmm. know man yeah he's got to buy it and find out some of them are flimsy i don't know you if you can it, tell it, right away like, oh, this one's not gonna last why long. do they not sell a thing that i can plug my usb cord in and it tells me if it's a good one or not you know well they have those little like springs that you can put on the plug where the where the wire plugs into the where the cord plugs into the plug, mm. you know that junction. They have like a spring you can put there that will save the flexing, because the flexing what the is what kills is? you. Yeah, if, if the cord, the little end of the cord, it like because yeah. the wire gets a little detached, it drank it yanks back and forth like you're pulling a tooth out. Okay, because I'll get new USB cords and I'm all excited. They show up and I go finally. Yeah. For some reason, I'm always convinced. I'll buy like a four this pack and I'm one. like, these are nice. These are braided. Oh yeah. They've got yeah. like colors, you know. Like uh -huh. these are going to be good ones. These are lifetime. And then I go cords. and then like first I plug them in and it goes, your phone is fast charging and I'm like, oh, I love it. Look at all the charge it's getting. Mm -hmm. And then like a month later, I go to plug it in and it's like. I'm not getting anything, man. Yeah. I'm not getting anything. I don't even know why you put this in me. It does nothing. <laughs> I'm in my car. I got a little car charger. It's been great. And now I go yeah. to plug it in. It goes, oh, there's nothing in me, man. I don't even think you plugged a cord in. And yeah. if you did, I refuse to acknowledge it. There's no... Wow. <laughs> Just, I just want a good one. I will pay more for a good one, but I can't figure out what a good one is because nobody, like, I go on Amazon and there's, like, 5,000 reviews and everyone just goes, yeah, that's a good USB cord, I tell Great. you what. I'm like, no, well, why? What makes this one good? Which is the better one? You want a lifetime guarantee. 
That's what you need. Yeah, you should be able to when your USB cords suck. They just ship it to you, you every should... couple months. They ship you another yeah. one because they know it's going to break. And it's one of those things where I can't just be like, oh, my USB cord sucks. I'll just go to the store and buy one because then no. the store, they're like, oh, you want a USB cord? Yeah. It's going to be 40 bucks. It's going to yeah, be like 40 30 bucks. $40. Fuck, dollars. 40. You're like, what are you fucking retarded? I'm not paying that for a USB <laughs> cord. Why do they do that? Why do they do? Why? Why? Why can I not just go to the store and buy a USB cord for $5 if I can get it online for the same? Because yeah. they know I need it right then. That's so. Why? I need these things. They run my life. Okay, and then I'm constantly juggling them around, trying to be like, okay, this cord's kind of a little bit better than this cord, but I think if I use this charger with that cord, it's not as good. So I have to use this charger, and it's this constant fucking swap around game, and I don't know which charger and which cord is the ideal situation. And then yeah. you go, well, just use the one that came with your phone. And you go, I don't remember which one came with my phone. That's it the best one. Uh, yeah, but why? And if that's the best one, know. why can't I just buy more of those? I don't even think they sell them no, separately. No, they don't sell them separately. I'm gonna they know it, too. kill myself. I just want to charge my devices. They refuse to stay charged. And everything you know I, I got in here? Yeah, what do you got? A magnet. So you I got, put you it got a little on. charging mat for it? Yeah, I just yeah. put it on there. No, kind of wiggling around. Well, I need around. to charge stuff other than my phone. I get it. Maybe I'll get one of those for my <coughs> Samsung or whatever. Mm. But I got all sorts of devices. Yeah, I got that Steam Deck. The thing sucks power, and that thing needs its own separate charger because it's like a fucking beast battery. And then, and then sometimes you ever like plug in like a charger, and then you realize it's been like smoldering and turning brown slowly, and you're like, yeah. "What the fuck's that about?" Yeah, or you touch your the power box thing, and it's like that's way yeah, that's way too, too hot. hot. <laughs> Something's clearly wrong. But, but it's been working for two years, and then it works for three more years. I'm like, I don't know, man. That's fucking not good. I don't know if it's getting in here or what. There needs to be, like, a USB council that every USB cord goes to them and rank them on a fucking list or whatever. Oh, this is the best one. And like, Yeah, this is the best one. Maybe your church could be that. Uh, like, fine. we've come fine. back and found that this is the best one. Yeah. Or, like, this one is a trick. Do you think China is, like... Their their quality control like hoards all the good ones. I don't they're know. Like, oh, that's the, this is the good one. Like they make a million and they're like these are good ten and they keep them in the country and then ship us all the crummy ones. It should be illegal. It should be punishable by death to sell these these trick ones. You know, you go to like the the gas station or whatever. Yeah. You know when you're really truly desperate and buy yeah. the, the charger yeah. at the thing. And then it's complete dog shit, and it's rated for, I don't know, one amp or whatever the fuck. You don't yeah. even know. It should be illegal to sell those. I I got I bought a car charger in, in desperation because I left mine, and the yeah. guy goes like, oh, well, that has a lifetime guarantee on it. This The one you just bought. I'm like, wow. I know that means it's worse. <laughs> yeah, that means it's going like, that to That means break. it's going to break immediately. And he goes, yeah, you take it to any Chevron. And I'm like, I take it to any Chevron and just what? Come in here with a mangled thing and say, <laughs> he's like, well, you know, you got to have the receipt. I'm like, I'm not fucking keeping the receipt Tape for a it, I $40 guess. charger forever. <laughs> I bought Randy, you know, Randy, mm. uh, I was riding around his car. I'm like, dude, this is, he had a, he had a USB connector for his phone yeah. that didn't even have any cord on it anymore. It was just like <laughs> just wires, frayed wires. Wire. <laughs> like what the fuck but is the thing this? Is, you if it works, works. I bought him one. Yeah. I'm like, I can't hear it. You that. have to use this. Yeah. But the thing is, once once you find a USB cord that works, you go, that's it. Yeah. I can't I can't touch it. Yeah. Because the next one I get might be a All fucking trap up. and it might break for no around. reason. At least we're finally past the uh, USB 2.0 connectors. You remember those? Wait, I thought that's what you're talking about. No, 3.0 is, 3 is what we got now. No, the rectangle's uh, 1.0. Is the 3.0 the oval? Yeah. The 3 is the oval? 2 is the one that was like kind of like a trapezoid. I, I got all excited for that oval one. So I bought, wait, the trap, no, that's the that's the mini. No, that's the two. No, two is that rectangle that always goes in the wrong way, and then you flip it over, no, you gotta flip one. it over again. That's one? Yeah. No, that's two. Two is like like the little mini, like, kind of trapezoidal thing. No, that's micro, that's mini. And then micro is a small version of that. Hold on, I'm bringing it up. All right, maybe you're right. USB connectors types. Uh... There, look at that one. Which one? Oh, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A. Yeah, two. Oh, 1.122. A, B. So these are all USB. Mini A, but the, it's so, okay, so it's mini A, but like two. No, so micro. none of them are one. Micro B, two. But that's a two. It's still a two, though. That's not what it says. Yeah, it says, says 1.122. 1. 1. 1. So twos can so none be. None of them are one. 
You were wrong. No, because I said it was two. That means you were wrong. I didn't say it was one. I, I said this. All of this was two. I said the trapezoid was two, and you said no. No. Two, you said two is the... Two is and, this one. They're all two. We're both right. That's the worst way to be. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was thinking of micro B. I got all excited when three came out, so I bought a bunch of them. Yeah. And then, like, nothing takes it. Like, it all needs its own special. Yeah. It, 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 there's, thing. And there's no, like, this, is, this fucking sucks. I just want a site that I can go to and they go, What are you trying to charge? Mm -hmm. Here's the charger you should buy for that. The best one. It'll yeah. never break. It, that's all I want, yeah. basically. Like, charliecharge.com. Yeah. Come for me. I'll get you. Come to I'll Charlie Charge. Char like, somebody register Charlie Charge right now. This is actually a great idea that we just had. The website that you go and you go, I'm using this device, and it goes, get this cord and this charger, and it's perfectly yeah. amp rated, and the cord won't break, and whatever the fuck. Is there an American-made charger that you can buy? No, they're like, all Korean Is Jeremy Boring shit. and Daily Wire making a non-woke <laughs> USB cable that I can buy? Well, that's the worst part is I go on Amazon, I'm like, well, what's a trusted brand? And they're like, well, we got Akinar and Sklapaploff and Plank and Jang, and I'm like- Sobe. Yeah, Sobe. Kromjom. Sony Krom with two yeah. Ys. <laughs> <laughs> Samsung and Sumsing, and I'm like, I just want a fucking card that works. Okay. USB cables- Slash chargers. I don't know. It's all a mess. That's your problem? Yes. Okay. Um, Charging cables. Here's my last problem. Uh, it's no flying cars. Let me pull up. I've got a... So, like, regular cars. Uh, is that there are no flying cars. Okay. <laughs> I, I was just messing with you. No flying cars. Well, yeah, like a regular no car is a no flying yeah. car. Very yeah. funny. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> no flying cars. Okay. Isn't this one of those stupid, like, oh, you know, you know, they promised us the future mm. and they took mm. it away from us at the last moment. <laughs> I can't believe. Here we go, Vito. This is. <laughs> Trump this. proposes a bold <laughs> national. Almost one third of the land mass of the. Hold on. Wait, is this real? When did he put government? this out? Just before With the show. Just charter up to 10 to the best proposals. For Here we go. Get in other ready. In words, we'll actually build new cities yeah, in our country yeah, yeah. again. These freedom cities will reopen. This is what his campaign is. All right. Freedom cities. Freedom cities. Now here comes the be here comes an even better thing for America. Here, reignite American imagination. Yeah, and yeah, give yeah, hundreds yeah. Hundreds of thousands of young people and other people, uh -huh. all hardworking families. A new shot at home ownership, mm. and in fact, the American dream. Well, he's talking about community Another big opportunity is in transportation. Dozens of major companies in the United States and China are racing to develop vertical takeoff and landing vehicles for families and individuals. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Vito. Uh, what? Trump is bringing in is in to a, is inventing this is so stupid flying cars. <laughs> <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Is this a deep fake video? Who put this out? This is fake. Trump did. Scroll why up. would he Scroll why up. would this be fake? Scroll up. This guy, he this has a fake. check, check this mark. Is, this must be a deep fake. <laughs> what was fake about that Chinese and American companies are making vertical lifting off cars for families and individuals that we've wanted for so long? So long we've wanted them, and <laughs> big this, car companies <laughs> and big government has been holding them back from us. <laughs> <laughs> we wanted flying cars. Genuinely, I mean, like Trump was always a joke, but this is what is genuinely a joke about a car that flies around? So far that he goes, all right, how do I win this thing? What does everybody want? A flying car and a hooker in every pocket. I didn't even know. Well, I can't do the second one, but I can get a flying car. I didn't even know I could dream of it because I was so wrapped up in how dumb self-driving cars are. Hey, I'll tell you this. It's a better po pitch than DeSantis's I'm going to destroy the woke Disney Corporation. Flying car. Do you know how much woke stuff you could destroy if you're flying around above cities, shitting all over everyone? I think just as the United States led the automotive revolution <gasps> in the last century, I want to ensure that America, not China, leads this revolution in air Hold mobility. Wait, 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 in the wait, wait, flying wait. car industry, Vito. He just said the Chinese are making the cars. They are. We've got to get on top and of this. in the same breath, he's, what, he's saying that we need to... We've got to... 
If we make the flying first. cars, they're going to come from China. You've got to they're invent them first. They're absolutely coming from China. They're not going to come from America. They've got to be American-made flying cars. It's gonna, very important. What are we going to do? Open a bunch of flying car factories? Yes, we've got to get on top of this now. I'm going to kill if myself. If we don't, if we don't, what did Biden say? He's going to cure cancer? <laughs> I don't give a shit about cancer. I want a flying car now. So the Trump. So, so the, would you rather have a flying car or no cancer? A flying would, car or cure cancer? I would rather. <laughs> you know the answer. That's why you don't want to look me in the would eyes. Would I rather a flying car or, or no? Or cure cancer? Honestly, cure cancer. I would rather. No, cure you're cancer. lying or not an American. That's such a dumb answer. It would be kind of cool to have a flying car. You would take it in a second. It's not your cancer. You're just saying cancer in general. Cure? I just think one of those is more feasible than flying cars. I what don't do you know? You're not a fucking scientist. Trump, Trump's talked to the scientists that are building this stuff in China. Is this all? Okay, so, like, I remember when Trump just, like, would say stuff like, I'm going to build a wall. I'm going to drain the swamp. You'd all you go, don't think the walls Yay! exist either? Yay. And now he goes, I'm going to build you a flying car. I'm going to give you a blowjob. And you guys go, Yay. Yeah. How much better would your life be if you had a flying car? <laughs> Infinitely better. <laughs> Infinitely. You don't have to deal with homeless people harassing you yeah. at the stoplight. You don't have to. What is homeless guy can't roll up to your window and ask for change if you're flying? Unless he has some kind Unless of a liberal jetpack. <laughs> yeah, paid you? for by. Well, don't all the don't the, our most destitute Newsom. deserve to Newsom. fly alongside us? Flying cars. No, flying cars get rid of traffic. Air, How did air pollution? You ever support air pollution? This guy? How? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Are these, what? This is crazy. This is insanity. Who would you rather support? <laughs> a politician that is going to invent flying cars. Why does he just put on not a Willy invent Wonka them, but suit? Dominate. I'm going to give unlimited candy to every school child. Like, what oh, is now so made, you would love that. He's magical. He's just. This is ridiculous. Bro. He just says anything to get votes, and you guys go, yeah. Oh yeah, free yeah. health care. That's uh, that's going to happen. That sure. happened. It's happening. Because I want. I, at least I want a lie that's not gay. <laughs> <laughs> What else do you want Dad Trump to give you? No traffic accidents in a flying car. How? Why? Because you've got all this air to go around in. Yeah, no one's ever crashing anything in the air. It's impossible. No, they actually, except for 9-11, <laughs> no one has ever got into an accident. Sure. And I'm sure adding, I'm sure adding, you know, half a million aircraft to the skies will be the safest thing uh, that we've ever done. It scales vertically. You could drive all kinds of places. Mm. Women could hug down by the ground where they belong. And you're going to get caught. men are going You're going to get caught in a flash storm and you're going to crash into a building and kill a bunch of children. You can't get caught. You could do all kinds of drugs. You could smoke a bong, <laughs> do a bunch of lines <laughs> all over. <laughs> Pilots we, could do all kinds of stuff. The, what are we going to power these things with? Gasoline? Yeah, sure. Electricity. Oh, we got, yeah, we got no, an endless electricity. supply. Electricity. Why yeah. not? That's uh, apparently everything's going electric anyway. So why not flying cars? Yeah, let's. Yeah, you know, run on solar power. You can get close to the sun. Now we're doing solar power and windmills. That's how we're doing the flying cars. No more road rage with flying cars. I can't believe that Trump is promising you a flying car. Yeah. And that you've He's going to deliver. And instead of going, well, that's stupid, you're going, yep, that's what we need. Do you, Do you think, think there it's are, a problem or not that we don't have flying cars? I, I, I don't think it's a problem, though. No. I have never you think, felt that we needed a flying car. I guess car. we'll see then. If the audience agrees with you that you're... Lo like you're well, why fucking explain why do why do we problem. need a flying car? Why? I just told you no traffic accidents. So, so to solve no traffic pollution. No. Why no pollution? You can't just say no pollution because you're not sitting there in traffic shooting a bunch of pollution out. You're gonna. You don't think planes Cause pollute? Cause no, because it goes up higher. If you're on the ground shitting pollution out, it stays on the ground. If you're way up high, the pollution stays up That's there. That's not how that works. The pollution it makes more ozone layer. Actually, oh, it makes more ozone. Yeah, need less. Why don't you just bring it? Freeze up the roads. Yeah, so you could run around on the roads. <laughs> That's not a problem either. I've never said I need to run around on the roads right now. <laughs> really? Yeah, I don't look at the road and go, "How come I'm not running down the middle of the highway?" This is you a big problem I've got here. <laughs> no more waiting for these other guys to finish with their soccer. You know you what? Just play soccer if right you, on the if freeway. If you wanted to make the point that we could free up, you know, demolish some of the highways and free up space for a. Uh, 
Home- homeless, homeless cities. Yeah. Low income housing. Yeah, get those fuckers to work. Put them mm. out on the freeway. Guys, right. go stay up there. Get out of this. That get seems away like a benefit of the flying car. See? I just think the benefits of the flying car are outweighed by the fact that it is the pipe dream of a lunatic uh, who oh, is okay. desperate okay. to. Uh, did you see? Did you listen to his January 6th song? No. Uh, Trump released a single. Uh, of him reciting the Pledge of Allegiance while the January 6th choir, which is a bunch of prisoners who are arrested because of their participation in an insurrection, uh, sang ah, like the Star Spangled Banner or some shit. Yeah. Trump's really taking a beating over that January 6th uh, lack of pardons. But luckily, yeah, he, he did. He fucked that up big time. Well, that's why he's now got them singing songs for him, you know. So mm-hmm. he's like, "That's pretty good." And they're going to donate the proceeds to the families to or themselves. Some shit. Yeah, basically. Okay, you so know, take care of your family. You could do like NFTs in jail for, them for punching too. cops for no good reason. What do you care about cops? I just think that if a madman tells you, hey, "I'm actually the president," go punch a bunch of cops for me. That's not the best reason to punch cops. Uh, if someone says punch a cop, I don't need to hear the reason. <laughs> Someone says, oh, why'd you go to jail? Punch the cop. He said, I don't need to know why. What if that cop was arresting a homeless guy? And then the he homeless could, guy gets away because he, he punched him. He couldn't get up and still <laughs> arrest the homeless guy? Pussy. You're interfering with cleaning up our streets. Well, I'm glad. They don't do that anyway. I'm glad you and Team Trump have a... Uh, have your big campaign you have issue. something better than a flying car? <laughs> the answer is no, because not having flying cars is the biggest problem in the universe. And if Trump is even try, he's trying. Okay, is this a deep Maybe fake? Maybe he is won't. Deep- Did he really say this? I don't know. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna feel stupid if this is fake, but it does seem like him. But it's still no flying cars is the problem. Not having flying cars yeah. is the problem. Okay. Yet. Yet. Now maybe he won't make flying cars. But it's still a problem. But at least he's trying. At least he's trying. What can you say about you trying to make flying cars? Dick. So exactly. If, what dick. if Bi- so if Biden said he was going to make flying cars? Too late. He's just obviously copying. Obviously copying. <laughs> obviously copying. <laughs> what if he yeah, made? He's working on cancer. What you if can't Biden made teleportation? Nah, I don't. Want then that. he wins. I don't want that because that's just dying. Yeah. Whatever yeah. comes out the other side is not it's me. Not you. No. I'm not stepping in that fucking booth. What if they sent your atoms through a fucking uh, wormhole? <sighs> It's the same atoms. I don't know. I don't think there's any theoretical wormhole that would not. Once you're disassembled, you cannot be reassembled. Yeah, it's not me. Fair enough. Flying not car. Not for me. No flying cars. This teleportation stuff, Vito? Not not for me. Not for me. Pass. Not a fan. Pass. Okay, what, what if. Do I need to see a bunch of drag queens on fucking Alpha Centauri? What no. if. I'll see a bunch of morons here, thank you. Okay, what the if I. here don't want to sleep with me either. I don't need to go see it over there. How about I send your consciousness to a robot in another city, you pilot the robot around, and then it downloads its memories back into like you. Like an entangled robot that you sent off now, and then put me in a, like a black hole time accelerator, and I wake up and- You'd be in like 10, a- 10,000 years here. Sure. Okay, that's that I'm up for. That's the biggest problem, though. We don't have that. <laughs> what a show, guys. Don't forget, vote on all the problems at biggestproblem.show. Check out the bonus episodes at patreon.com slash biggest problem as well as backed.by yeah. slash biggest problem. All right, let's do this. Thanks to all our supporters for getting us to 10,000 subscribers. Please tell your friends about this show. Okay, let's see. Here we go. Hey, Dick and Vito. Uh, I just wanted to point out that Dick is a complete fucking idiot about the protein thing. Uh, Dick, you've clearly never used a protein bottle shaker, uh, blender bottle. I believe there is a brand. Uh, I work out regularly and don't have a problem with my protein shakes. I put the protein in the cup. And, and I make sure the bowl is in there, and then I yeah. put in whatever liquid I choose to put in there. Water, cum. usually. Other guys come And, up. Uh, yeah, it's a big bottle, and I uh, close the lid and make sure it's closed tight, and then I just shake it like a motherfucker for about 30 seconds or so, and then I drink seconds. the liquid, and uh, at the bottom there is no... Tennis ball, as you said, it's cake hollow, in it's protein like powder. Lumps. It's it lumps. is just a little watery or milky at the bottom. At which point, I take my bottle brush that Vito immediately brush. pointed out Boom. exists to clean out the rest or put it in my dishwasher. 
Jordan, I told you about that bottle brush, fucking bro. Clean up. I told you about the bottle brush. Because I actually work out, so I'm tired. My yeah, arms too. are tired. I have to lay down. No, I don't have time to go do woman stuff like washing dishes. And I just use my protein shake. Rushing. After I work out strenuously, I grab my protein shaker, Dick, as we all do. And if there's any residue, I use my bottle brush. Bad problem. Vote it down. Protein clumps. Fucking stupid problem. Oh, oh, it's me, guys. It's Dick Masterson. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man. I can't believe how fucking stupid and gay Vito's problem was. Anchor bias. It is <laughs> oh, a dumb bro. problem. No, it's not, because it won. so stupid. It is stupid. If it wins, I'm going to give up half my fucking Patreon for the month of Vito, because it's so dumb. <laughs> And it'll never win in a million years. Also, if I forgot I did this uh, message, it's because I hit my head. And if I protest this, it's it's because I'm either yeah, you, lying you left this message or for the shit. Okay, right. And you said you were going to give up half the stupor. Patreon. <laughs> oh, I see. And you forgot about it because you were retarded. Show, <laughs> Thanks, Dick. Well, that's bi- that's legally binding. I'm pretty sure you got to give me half the Patreon because you left that message. All right, next month. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. A lot of people loved that problem. Your dumb like anchor thing. Don't pretend like you don't know what it is. You know exactly <laughs> what it is. <laughs> okay. Man, I gotta tell you, Vito's anchor problem is such a good fucking problem. Boom. I mean, they're always on. You know, four times a day. Lying to our boomer parents, getting them all riled up with their polyester suits and their cheap smiles, reading yep. the fucking script from Sinclair fucking Media. Anchors. I'm telling you, Vito's on the money with his oh, anchor problem. Thank you. Huge fucking problem. News, thank you. News anchors. All anchors are a problem. All, they all have an effect. You ever try to dock a ship? <laughs> it's an anchoring problem you have got you? there. Uh, like, I don't you think. go to docking? School in Gloucester. <laughs> <laughs> My dad had a boat. We never really used it. Oh, it's it, this though. kind of docking? Oh, oh shit. Oh, <laughs> shit. That's the worst kind of docking. <laughs> All right. Uh, this one might be good. Hey, guys. So I uh, I was listening to Tim Cass uh, uh, because I why? fucking hate myself. And yeah. I subject myself to that kind of content on a daily basis. And I realized something. One of their... One of their um, guests showed up and was like, yeah, I'm I'm here. I'm fighting on the, the front of the culture war. And it's like it fu- something fucking clicked. And it, it, it was this weird feeling that I had, like, I don't know, like 10 years ago when people were like, hey, change your picture to, to, the, mm. to the thing to show yeah. you have solidarity for the thing. And you're, you're fighting against the thing Stop or you're, against, you're, you're for a thing, you know, you're, the thing. And it's just like. I'm realizing people saying that they're fighting on the front of the culture war is pretty much the same thing as, you know, yes. slacktivists on Facebook changing yeah. their pictures. Shit, like, I'm, I'm here on this podcast talking. <laughs> yeah, I'm fighting the culture war. I'm from Prager U. <laughs> fighting the culture war. I have a beard. <laughs> Fuck man. The worst part about the culture war thing is they go, Well, I'm having I'm making a difference because I'm, you know, inspiring young people. I'm like, you're inspiring them to do what you do. Just make endless YouTube videos complaining about the culture war. Yeah. You you're not voting, you're not getting people elected, you're not changing policy. And you're not making any culture. Yeah, you're just, no, you're just encouraging more young people. I love what Destiny said on our no jumper appearance where he goes. I don't understand how conservatives complain about why aren't we represented in the arts and media yeah. after they spent decades telling every kid who like was a little bit artistic, like you're gay. Art is gay. You said that. Well, I think I was agreeing with him. <laughs> yeah, he brought it up. Yeah. He didn't say the you're gay part. Well, that's basically that was what funnier they did. when you said <laughs> yeah. it though. I like when Destiny said. And then said, all the gay kids went to art school and then became directors and you know animators and whatever and took over the culture because the conservatives you know told them they were fairies. Conservatives don't understand that like they're making art to make art and the morality happens to be liberal leaning because it's like a fantasy. Like yeah. conservatives make art in service of their politics and it's just all 
crap and trash because they won't let any kind of natural like they won't let any kind of like natural arc storytelling that we like to hear because yeah. it's the opposite of life <laughs> like the reason yeah. the fantasy liberal stories are good is because they're not based in reality that's not the right. way it works no, we would have a much different structure if magic and dragons and whatever the fuck We're existed. Real. Yeah. And conservatives are, you know, sitting there going, they're like, yeah, but like, you still got to have basic capitalist principles. And you're like, no, you got to give that up in a world where you can transmute gold. Like, stop worrying about You old. just can't make endless westerns. <laughs> <laughs> at a certain point, you can't. Yeah. At a certain point, the good man with the gun has solved enough Especially problems. Especially not a western with a fucking woman. <laughs> what are you talking about? You talking about Gina Carano? Yeah. <laughs> or have met a Dr. Hey, Quinn, There's any sort of woman. on the prairie, and if anyone's going to stop it, it's Gina. Uh, Do the last one real quick, because I think that was a big contentious point on our last gayer? episode. Oh, yeah. Okay, all right. Hey, Dick. Hey, Vito. Uh, I just wanted to weigh in on- He sounds gay. What do you think? He's got a he's got a, a feminine. I'm just saying a, a, for purposes of this discussion, it sounds like he's a maybe gay guy to call as a gay in. guy. I don't know if he's gay. I just want to call it early. He's got a nice way of speaking. The which is gayer conversation from last week. Um, I can see where both people are coming from. You know, like I, I totally understand the logic of Dick in the Butt is gayer. Uh, but which I feel very strongly that sucking a dick is gayer for all the reasons you guys have listed. Mm -hmm. uh, and I am I, like flexible in the same way Vito is. Uh -huh. I don't think he's in denial, but just look, factually, it's like, no, it is fully gayer to suck a dick because you're being submissive, right? Oh, There's yeah, pleasure just... receptors in the ass. You can be straight and like fingers in the butt or get pegged. I mean, it's kind of gay, but, you know, it's whatever. But there's no pleasure receptors in the mouth. You are, you're just, it's right, you're totally it working. for you. You're like getting some kind of a masochistic, actually, I don't know if that's the right way to use that, but it's like, you're, you're just getting off on being submissive. You don't physically get anything from it. You're, you're getting horny from making someone, I don't know, you know, I, I think you guys get it. <laughs> <laughs> Would we get arrested for playing this in Florida now? <laughs> I Can I just walk around on the street? I like, don't know. I fuck chicks. Yeah, boners. <laughs> like, I get still, this guy. I still maintain. Okay, if you put a popsicle in your mouth, it's normal. If you go to put a popsicle in your ass, it's gay. Therefore, putting, what about putting any shit in your ass. Like wh what shit? Like other like shit you're shitting. Is that gay? How would I put shit in my ass? What are you like talking Like you're taking about? a shit. You're going out. You're going That's to the bathroom. Shit exiting you're taking your shit ass. in your it's colon and shit. putting it in your ass. No, it was. <laughs> shut up. What's it's, the difference? It's an exit performance. Sometimes it sucks back in a little bit. It's gay to put a dick in your ass. It's not gay to take a dick out of your ass. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> That's really a brain buster, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> you know there's logic to that. When you put it, if putting the dick in, that's the gay thing. If you go, hey, take that dick out of me, that's you being not gay. <laughs> Maybe. So the exiting is what always. You're saying it sarcastically. I'm not saying it sarcastically. <laughs> hmm. Well, putting stuff in your mouth is normal. The world may never know. Putting stuff in your ass is queer. And we know this and we get this. Yeah. It's unnatural. It was not meant to happen in nature. It was I think not it just meant happened. to happen. I don't think God intent or whatever. I don't think evolutionary process ever accounted for butt sex. It's just kind of. I could be wrong. I'd love to see some studies. Why do mm. do animals practice butt sex on accident? Probably on accident. By accident. Yeah. Hmm. It's damaging. It's dangerous. It's unnatural. Do gay guys get like colon cancer and stuff from having so much butt sex that they do have? I think they. I think they actually do. Do sadly. they really? Thankfully, Biden's going to solve that. Instead uh -huh. of wasting our time with these fucking flying cars. <laughs> or, or gay guys. Yeah, he's helping gay guys. You Good. Fly around with a little Miata. <laughs> Stop Have it. sex over your Stop parents' it. house. We're going to read some super chats. Guys, thanks for coming by the greatest podcast in the universe. Please <laughs> tell your friends to listen to the show. We got to get these numbers up. Holy shit, there's a lot of people. Uh, yeah, tell all your friends. Wait, go bug an e-celebrity. Go and bug tell a them celebrity. To listen. Which one? Them. Find us some guests. We've had some suggestions Go for guests. Go bug one. 
one specifically. Yeah. I don't know. I can't think we of it. We might have some exciting guests coming up. I mean, exci- I don't know. I don't know who we got to get, but we got to get somebody. Mike Hunt is here for five. In spite of all the data collection, porn sites still insist on recommending me old and fat women porn. I will last 30 seconds with these suggestions. Hmm. Wait, you're, but so you're. That's 80. Nobody's saying I will last 30 seconds with these suggestions. So doesn't that mean you want fat old lady porn? If you're busting so quickly that you can't last 30 seconds? I think the ads say five seconds. See if you can last. No yeah. one could come. You, no one could last the five seconds. The world's first 3D sex game. I'm like, oh, boy, the first one. Wow. John Riffs for 10, what artists are you thinking of having help on Super Killer? I heard Scott Adams is interested. He and Super Killer have similar, Jesus Christ, similar opinions on certain people. Dilbert and Super Killer versus Isom and MLK. Okay. Oh. I don't like that suggestion. I don't think Scott Adams will be contributing. What if he would want to draw a cover of Dilbert <laughs> and Super Killer? I really have to think about it. I feel like now is not the time to embrace Dilbert creator Scott Adams as a creative force for mm. good in the world. Okay. I will say this. If there's any uh, artists you know or artists in the uh, community who might be interested in uh, helping make some uh, trading cards. No, you can't draw him kneeling on fucking Isom. Okay, but I, I kind of need some art. Why do you got all this, like, trading cards and stuff? When's the comic going to be done? When the trading cards are ready. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's the longest comic. How long have you been working on this? Like uh, like over a year. All right. That's not so bad. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Why, why not? I want to do it good, and I'm going to do it good. I'm going to put the polish on it. King N6, I hope that's, oh, N64 1994. <laughs> I saw King N, I saw King oh, N and I was a little worried. Yeah, I think you spelled it out with the <laughs> dumb numbers there. King N64. I'm a little bit more sensitive to Vito than these types of things. <laughs> for $50. <laughs> Thank you for the 50 from King N64. Inshallah, you can get Wings of Redemption on the podcast. That might be a good get okay. uh, just to stick it to Boogie to before mm, before they start their own podcast. I'm sure he would love to converse Scott Adams. Also, Vito, I loved your toupee last show. Hope you get more wigs from fans. We Me do too. More wigs. We do have a present. Oh, yeah. So he said stick to Boogie to before they start their. Dude, he almost before. got you. That's not it. No, that it's not. Count. It's not, no. No, I was looking at that. Go for two. Thank you all for not killing yourselves. Thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm getting close, but I, I keep backing away at the last moment. Gun goes in, gun comes out. Gun goes in. So is it gun gay for the out. gun to come out of your mouth? Has anyone ever killed themselves by it's shooting not gay themselves up the ass? <laughs> <laughs> the most recent South Park, actually, they do that. Have you watched the. You got to watch the new season. You're behind the times. They also. Uh, South Park uh, talks about my favorite problem, fear of bidets. On oh, the most really? recent, the newest recent episode is about why we should all have Japanese toilets hmm. and how the toilet paper industry is costing, is devastating rainforests around the world. Hmm. Toothless Ninja for 10. Vito is definitely the type to read Garfield and laugh. Depends on the Garfield. Garfield's great. Some Garfields are good. I had all those books when I was in. I saw a, I saw a picture. It was like an infographic of like the most, the richest uh, people by like, industry mm-hmm. and it's like comics like jim davis sure i think he has like more money than the south park guys like garfield yeah was a fucking Everyone phenomenon garfield. yeah the calendars Sticking and whatever else garfield. that's what other people don't realize about scott adams he's throwing away like a probably 20 million dollar a year enterprise of all the stupid little well you know everybody in the working in their cubicle goes hey check out this uh dilbert comic a day calendar i got i rip yeah. it off and <laughs> oh, what's the deal with uh, these reports on the data chip or whatever? The File fuck. a memo. What an idiot. Why the fuck would you throw that away? Rich for five. Looking forward to seeing you boys at Philly Road Rage Part Woo. 2 Electric Boogaloo. Vito, you could do better. What the fuck does that mean? Uh, Entertainment for five. Methane and cow farts changes climate too. Uh, That's pretty funny. It's pretty good. Yeah, you're, uh, You read that one. To be fair. To be fair. It turns them to beef. Uh, release Cooper Billups for two caffeine and nicotine are the best meal replacers. Sure. Riley Edwards for two good stinger Vito. You're my favorite female comedian. Thank you. Yeah. 
Mitchell Krasowski for two. All the coolest things are found in landfills. Yeah, like pops. Fuck you. Mm -hmm. Sol 2XL for two. Vito is legit making the same argument as Scott Adams. No, I'm not. <laughs> well, the survey was the issue with Scott Adams. <laughs> points. I don't care if he says that stuff, but to say it's because of this survey is just. Do you think retarded. it would be okay to say black Americans are a hate group as long as it wasn't based on a stupid poll? Yeah, people wouldn't care as much then. Because it would just be like a racist thing. Yeah. Like he tried to connect that to the survey, which was dumb. I'm really tired of his smug like, well, now that I've started the conversation, as I planned. And I'm like, shut the fuck up. Vito. What? Vito, of course you wouldn't understand my 4D chess. You just wanted to start a conversation? Having... Why didn't you just post the N-word on Twitter if you want to start a conversation? Anybody can start a conversation. That's the <laughs> stupidest thing in the world. It takes no effort to start a conversation, Scott. You can't you can't say you're playing 4D chess. Initiating the conversation. No, is it's half not the you didn't initiate a conversation. I can initiate anyone can initiate a conversation. It doesn't matter. Oh, didn't I? Uh, yeah, okay. So didn't you said something I? stupid and racist on Twitter and now ooh, everybody's talking about it. I really started a conversation by throwing my fucking career away for no reason. <laughs> Stop it. Stop with the smug laugh. Stop being so fucking smug about all this, you fucking idiots. It's the stupidest point in the world. Vito. Yeah, what? Can I ask you something? Sure. Do you think it's okay to be white? <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? That doesn't exactly. fucking mean anything. Exactly. Oh, my God. Exactly. Exactly my point. Na exactly my point. Now you get it. I'm going to fuck it. I hate you. I hate you so much. <laughs> now you get it. <laughs> That's the conversation you wanted to have? Maybe. You'll never know. <laughs> yeah, I don't I'll know. never tell. Fuck your 4D chess, Scott. <laughs> get out of here. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of the 4D chess. Just play I'll, regular chess. I'll never tell. <laughs> I'll never fuck tell. You. God damn it. This is so isn't, stupid. Isn't 4D chess just regular chess played through time <laughs> all chess 4d chess i don't know it doesn't matter stop playing any games don't play 3d 4d tiddlywinks connect four whatever game you're playing is just terrible this is terrible what you're doing <laughs> stop being so <laughs> smug about it <laughs> we just wait till i lay into the italians Vito. no you leave the italians out of this i don't want any of your hate speech touching my pizza loving brothers you stop this stop it Christopher Columb, who they'll say. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Scott, you bastard. Hey, have so you seen my ex wife? <laughs> <laughs> no, she left you because she found out you're fucking insane. That's why probably why your stepson killed himself. Oh, I'm glad about that. I actually. know you are because you're a thrilled. psychopath. Because some people can't be fixed. Yeah, I know, Scott. I, I heard it all before. I tried to jigsaw him and cure him <laughs> of his addiction. <laughs> I put him in a room full of Dilberts. Scott, will you just go meet one black person and talk to him? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want, Vito? Do you want me to ask them a question? Shut <laughs> up. God damn it. No. 4D jokes, everyone. That's a 4D yeah, joke. Yeah, put that in your next comic strip. Whatever comes after your failed Dilbert oh. shenanigans. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Scott, you piece of shit. I'm making a new comic. What is, I don't want to know, oh, but what is it? Almost asked! You almost <laughs> asked, Vito! I'm pretty sure I don't want to know. What's the new comic? Dilberthony. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Where does he live? <laughs> <laughs> what part of town does Dilberthony oh, hail from? Ta, you don't want to... <laughs> You don't want to know, Vito. Yeah. You don't even want to hear about it. No, I really don't. I really don't. And his friend is Enbert. <laughs> All, right. All right, Scott. Get out of here, you fucking psychopath. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Scott Adams solving race relations in America <laughs> by starting conversations. The most important thing in the world. Mike Hunt for two. Remember Mission Hill? That was a good show. I did like that show. Yeah, it was okay. I saw a little piece of trivia from the creator. Uh, same guy who like uh, worked on The Simpsons forever, Bill Oakley or whatever it was. I never really got that show. Like, was the kid, did the parents kick him out? Or why was he living with I his brother? I think he was starting college in Boston. Oh, he, he was, was in college? I, think, I thought he was yeah. like in high school. I think he was finishing high school. I don't know. I really wanted someone to go like, oh, this kid is like 17 or 19. 
Because it yeah. mattered a lot of those episodes. I don't know. I forget if he was in high school. Or not. I think he was in high school, actually. So mm. I don't know. I think maybe he just wanted to go to school in the city. He probably got accepted to one of those, like, charter schools. Or I don't like when shows are named after, like, a specific geological, like, p- like place that yeah. everyone knows. And it's so cool. Like, oh, look. It's the valley. It's the OC. <laughs> it's Mission Well, Hill. that was the interesting Ugh. thing I learned was originally the show was going to be called The Downtowners. Okay. But then MTV had that cartoon. Do you remember Downtown? Was that on BET? Not, uh, Scott, get out of here. No, it wasn't on BET. <laughs> fucking asshole. You know, you, you even go oh, downtown, did you Scott. When it was on BET, it no. started about, oh, 9, 10, 9, 15. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Scott, you piece All right. of shit. No, I don't remember that. Uh, anyway, because of downtown, they had to rename the downtowners to Mission Hill. Mm. Kara puts $5 in there. Hey, Kara. The uh, moderator of the stars. Horny for serotonin at 10. Mm. Vito, what's going on with your face this episode? You look mm. different. Uh, yes. And I see you tried to sneak a TBF in there. Yeah. I could not find my normal glasses, and I have these stupid glasses I bought as a joke for doing dumb characters. Mm. But I can't see. I, I can't find You think my- doing dumb, dumb characters is, like, good comedy? Yeah. <laughs> I like characters. What the fuck is that? What's that judgment? I'm just doing those dumb Scott. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, P90X plus DVD rip Hindi subs English for five. Vito, I think you needed two pages to make your hat fit better. You might be right. Jack Rockstar for $4.99. Vito is literally describing the R Cry Guys planned utopia. And it's just as pathetic (laughs) when he describes a place when guys can cry and play ping pong. You don't have to cry. I just want, like, a meeting place for guys to, you know, get out there. And girls can come, too. I think we're talking about my church. It's gonna Are they going to play ping pong there? What happens if a, gri- if a guy cries there? Is he kicked out? No, he's not kicked out. Is he told to go in the closet or something or the bathroom? No, we go, hey, man, we got Mario Kart. It's eight players. <laughs> he's, like, set up in the uh, corner. My, my wife fucked eight guys named Mario. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we won't play as Mario. We'll just have Yoshi's to make you feel better, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, Game Church. I'm she gonna... ate everything, too, just like Yoshi. Ah! <laughs> like, can't fix all problems, but community would help him through his affliction. I just think you could open a game store and call it a church. Nobody can stop you. Mike Hunt for five. The biggest problem in the universe is bathrooms that don't have the light and exhaust fan on separate switches. That's a good one. Mm, yeah. So you're wasting the light bulb just to mm. air out your poo stink. Warrant for two, the term for homeless people is no homos. No homos. Because okay. I got no homes. <laughs> pretty good. Riley Edders for two, send the homeless to Ukraine instead yeah. of tax dollars. Get them over there. Yeah, I'm sure that'll help. Mike Hunt for 10. Modern- Cheap. What? It's cheaper? Yeah. Mike Hunt says, modern games suck. Why play Harry Potter when we have Rage Shadow Legends, the biggest mobile RPG? Almost 10 million users have joined Raid. Don't read a Raid ad. <laughs> Raid has almost a perfect <laughs> score. <laughs> And they tried to hit me with a TBF. You're right. I got to get paid to do those raid ads. Don't play raid until they give us money. Bob Uninstall raid. Uninstall Everyone raid. Everyone uninstall raid and tell them why, because yeah. you're not giving us money. Exactly. I'll do a five. I've done raid ad reads. New boss, the Hydra, with four different heads. Now you're fucking doing it again. <laughs> and it's terrible unless they support the show. Bobster for $9.99. USB cables are the same as any other tech product. If you don't buy the more expensive version from a well-known brand, you have TBF and not be upset when it stops working or ruins your battery. David Gomez. Thank you, Bobster. You tried to get me. Bob's uh, Bob's edited stuff. He's a good guy. Oh. He's one of my, bo- one of my bros. I think he just got married. Tough. Big mistake. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Big mistake. <laughs> Dumb. Your life was fine before Congratulations, that. Congratulations, Bob. You did good. No reason to do it. Whatever. <laughs> David Gomez for five. My house backs up to train tracks, and it's hard to plow the wife. 32C. Fit 130 pounds with our dogs barking every half an hour. Soylent Green the Homeless. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wait, it backs up to train tracks. You're saying you're in an the area with a bunch of homeless? Tracks, like hobos. Yeah, they Dogs them. barking at them. You watch the videos of them stealing Amazon packages off the back of the trains now? Yeah. It's pretty funny. David Gomez for five. Also, I got screamed at by a homeless yesterday with a sign about peace and love because I looked at him and continued to ignore him at a stoplight. Well, you mm-hmm. got to, you know, really engage with these people. For ho gods for five, what's your favorite card in Star Realms, Vito? I find Stealth Needle and Cutter both... TBF, strong mm, cards. Good try. 
That was a very good try because he referenced. You got you some, t- talking yeah. about your own thing. I mean, uh, what's the cutter is clearly the best opening by if you got two dollars. Pop quiz for twenty gives us a sticker of a bird with a magnifying glass next to a brick wall. Cool. Or whatever the fuck that is. Thank you for the 20 pop quiz. Riley Edwards for five. Vito, don't lose weight. You're starting to sound like Maddox. You don't need to look like him, too. Thanks oh. for another great show. You're welcome, don't Riley. Lose weight. Wow. Cut Thanks for two. a lot, Riley. So, I would go through a portal, but never teleport. Ah, oh, it's a suicide. What's the difference? Joke. Spider Eternal for five. Vito is mad that Trump is going to bring us back to the future, too. <laughs> Guys, you're not going to get me this episode. Mm. To BF. Yeah. Biden can't run trains. A 200 year old tech. Maddox would vote for flying cars. Kara mm-hmm. for 20 says, Dick, how was Vegas? We haven't heard much from anyone who was there. Uh, it was exhausting. I woke up and started drinking and doing drugs every day at like 10. Arcana um, hasn't even posted. I guess there's going to be a video of the event. Oh, yeah, the event was fun. Yeah. I was hammered by it. Afterwards, I just went to sleep. They, they were going out. I was like, I can't. How many I people do you think home. were at Ricada's thing? Probably like 200. It's pretty good. Yeah. Well, uh, hopefully we beat that in Philly. We got two yeah, shows. Yeah, it's past. Uh, live.dick.show for Philly tickets. Tickets are still available. Yeah. yeah. Get them because they're selling out. JJ for five. This is the money that Boogie doesn't have to put towards curing his cancer or a flying car. Oh, can you imagine if they got that fuck up in a flying car? <laughs> <laughs> Tilting down on one side. I think, Boogie, I think Boogie's doing a little better. He sounds less suicidal these days. But that's the best thing he could do. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Evan G from five. I have to agree with the guy who called in to TDS. Dick gets off on being a contrarian to popular opinion because he thinks it makes him sound smart. Uh-oh. 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 So smart. <laughs> Well, Mike Hunt for five. I figured out your protein shake problem. Put the water in the glass before the protein, then start. Uh, the I already port. tried that. It doesn't work. Get the shaky bottle. Cougar Hughes for five anchoring effect part two next week. These problems didn't come close. I'll bring in more anchoring effect problems. I tell you what, Mike Hunt for five. I see Dick dancing gif. You had no silly pants skating routine. You promised it over five years ago. Yeah, but my Patreon went down under 20,000, so, so I don't, don't have to do anybody. it. Yeah, I was going to do it. Evan G for two says, wait, Vito doesn't get half the Patreon for this. No, I do. I just want yeah, an additional half. I want three quarters. <laughs> Clark is source for 10. Blender balls still leave clumps and even get caught in the ball, which is even harder to clean. Also, yeah. <laughs> if you don't clean protein instantly, your cup will smell of protein forever. You've got TBF to dick. I know. I I know what happens to protein. Every one of these guys talks about cleaning. They're like, oh, yeah. And then you just go into the dishwasher and wash it out and clean the ball out with a brush and then put it in the fucking dishwasher. Like, I don't do any of that. I'm just done. Don't they I leave make, it out? Don't they make ready-made ones? I still think that was is your solution. It's more expensive to buy ready-made protein drinks than just a giant uh, jug of mix. The jug's like how much do you spend on liquor every fucking week? <laughs> yeah, but I need that. <laughs> Protein's just good for you. Fair enough. Alex for ten USB 1.0 is original rectangle. USB 2.0 and 3.0 are faster. Plus variants you're talking about. So USB 2.0 is A is square with. Okay, you're trying to do another two. Look, <laughs> <laughs> I mean that is a clever one. USB 2.0 yeah. B fair. Yeah, That's not the yeah. same. <laughs> two point. Yeah, but you might have abbreviated it when you said it. Yeah, you had to get rid of the O. Uh, yeah, right. Uh, Hundred bucks! Oh my god! Well, we got to go in order. Yeah. Uh, for Warren for two. Get Nate Higgins on the show. Is that is that actually his name? I don't know. N Higgins. It uh, sounds like a thing. Cynicist for four ninety nine. Vito, why did you delete your peek of me tweet? I thought you were correct, and it could have been an example of the problem. Wayman Sears. I deleted that tweet because all the anime kids started quote tweeting it and calling me an f slur, and I was like, well, I don't want to, <laughs> don't want to deal with this. Care for over five. Please share Dick's PO box. How do people find your PO it's box? Dick dot show slash who? Yeah, it's on there, and then you can send in your two pays. Yeah. Fatix for two agreed. You could definitely do better. Vito shame better than mm. what? King N sixty four for five. Did someone send you a guy a video of wings calling Vito ugly yet? Yeah, they did, but it wasn't. He wasn't really doing it that hard. Was he was so, just saying like I, I look better than that guy? Or something wait, why like did somebody that. say I look like Wings of Redemption? Yeah, mm. he's like I look better than that. Who looks better, me or Wings of Redemption? He said that he looked better than I think me. I look better than that guy. Well, obviously. God damn it. <laughs> I hope I do. Plumbo for five. Dicks are not the same as popsicles. Basically the same thing. Andrew Amy. Wow. With 100 American dollars on the board. We got to make a leaderboard. 
Oh, okay. I think Andrew's at the top of it. After listening to all of this podcast and the original biggest problem, this is the far superior version by a landslide. The reboot is actually funny compared to the original. Yeah, that's true. Hey, Andrew. Thanks, Andrew. One thing you got to do when you're uh, determining the two shows, you got to be fair. Yeah. (laughs) And admit that this is the superior show. There you go. He got it for donating 100 bucks. All you idiots trying to sneak it in there. Yeah, you could just give a hundred bucks. Yeah, you can just give a hundred bucks. There you go. One. <laughs> there you go. Well, thank you so much. I love this show, and we're going to keep it going strong in 2023. Mike Hunt for five. Kevin and Mission Hero was in high school and went to live with his brother Andy because his parents wanted to retire to Florida. He thought oh, Andy was cool. Oh, okay. That seemed like the pilot. That makes sense. Uh, Mid Salad is here. Bestest podcast in the universe. Thank you for your service. Thought your service, she says. Thought your service. Well, Thank check out Mint Salad at fansly.com slash tits mint salad. Mike Hunt for five. The guy who did the voice of the roommate in Mission Hill also did the voice of the roommate in Dick's cartoon, The Hard Way. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. What's his name? Jason something? The red-haired roommate yeah. in Mission Hill? Oh, the yeah. guy in the tongue thing. Right. I don't know him. Fuck, I forgot his name. DK Deadcat for five. How about a super killer team up with the OG super killer, OJ oh. Simpson? Oh! Where they both team up to avenge the ultimate cop, Christopher You Dorner. have to get, you have to get, we have to get OJ Simpson to plug super killer. Okay, we that would be have good. to get OJ Simpson to <laughs> tell everyone to read, to go to Super Killer and support the comic. Oh my fucking God, we have to. That would be we pretty have good, Mark. How am I going to achieve that? Does he do cameos? Maybe. I don't know. He talks about stuff that catches his eye. He talks about that Murtaugh thing. He's like, everyone's going to comment on this. And I don't know why. <laughs> it's like, oh. Okay, everybody. He'll say it if it's a joke about getting away with murder. He's yeah. he won't. He's he does the perfect amount of leaning into it. I will, like I'm trying bit. to get the campaign up. My plan was to get it up April first. We'll see if I can actually do it. Uh, but once the campaign is live, you can all tweet at OJ Simpson and be like, "We need you to give your opinion on this comic." You don't think maybe April second is a better day for launching a? It doesn't matter. Nobody cares. The day where everybody's competing to get attention and everyone ever doesn't believe anything. That day. Nobody does anything for April first anymore. Okay, what's the last April? What was the last big April first thing that you remember? I don't know. Yeah, because remember cares. any of them? It's a fucking waste of everybody's time. Uh, Bobster for four ninety nine. My favorite TBF moment has to be when Dick hit everything <laughs> on the soundboard while Vito screamed over it. I've been chasing that high ever since. Oh no. Okay. Well, that was the one time I got truly TBF blasted. Uh, Here, this is uh, okay. somebody sent this in. I should have let you open this before the Super Chats, That's actually. Fine. Why don't you refresh the Super Chats while I open my gift? Thanks for the Super Chats, everyone. This better not be another cheap fucking comedy wig. I don't know. You'll have to oh, see. This looks like a nice it has one. a card, by the way. You didn't read that. Fucking no manners. I don't know how this shit works. The trash guys are messing with me. They've now started sending too many bins back, says Captain Ble- okay. Blackbeard. It says, to pay for veto. I hope this works because I don't know what I'm doing. From Rye Dog. Ah, so you wrote what the gift is on the card. That's what else? Was, I guess you did it, it right be? then. Your what fucking backwards way of doing it was right. What was it gonna wow, be? Wow, look at this. Okay, fancy. this is a <laughs> Canellis. This is a real wig right now. Oh yes. <laughs> this is good. Yes. All right, hold on. Go off me for a second because I gotta. Get all right, all right, all right, all right. I want the reveal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very. <laughs> it's kind of mullety. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Where, are the, where are the sides? I gotta make sure it's not straight. Oh god! It's not a bad. It's not bad. I'm it looks straight. great. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. 
Do I tuck behind the ears is the question. It's got like ponytail length <laughs> back here. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, Dick, <laughs> what a show we've had here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You look like Joe Dirt's big brother. I kinda, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It's not, a bad, it's not a bad look. Dick, what a show we've you gotta had. You got to have a new today. kind of character to go with that, like some kind of truck hey, stop video. we had a good old biggest problem here tonight. That was a hell of a show. Had a good time laughing along with all you guys. I don't know about this Scott Adams keeps talking about all <laughs> what the black folk are up to. Something about that just jiggers me the wrong way. <laughs> I said jigger, sir. I did not say. Oh, uh, yeah, don't you try uh, to catch me slipping. Hey, Scott, no. No, what Scott. Did, what did you say? No, Scott. <laughs> it's not what we're talking about here today. <laughs> Trying to have a real talk about real Americans. And uh, frankly, uh, frankly, that's Scott Adams. I don't like the way he talks about people. I care about people. You care about ever- Americans? Hey, all I, all I know is if you can eat a plate of pork ribs, and you're my homeboy. That's all I know. Homeboy. Homeboy, home, home sis. What is it? Yeah. You Whatever have like, you want to be. Is it, is it like a melting? Are you like one of those liberal, tough, conservative guys that they have on TV? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, a lot of people have been saying Biden been doing wrong, but a lot of my, a lot of my boys down at the sawmills, they, you oh, know, yeah. they're, they're happy to be <laughs> getting a pension plan and getting a health insurance. What do they think about Ukraine? Uh, well, you know, those boys in Ukraine are fighting for their lives. <laughs> Freedoms They're and fighting stuff. for their freedom. What's more American than freedom? Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's just, uh, those are really American boys in spirit, and we got to support them. And that's true. Whatever amount of money we can send there, frankly, I think we can spare. I think we can spare it. What do you I think, think America, we're a land of plenty. We can help our <laughs> What do you think about boys abroad? Like drag shows and well, you know, I, 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 I don't, you know, seeing a man dress up in a frilly dress, I don't know. I don't necessarily. <laughs> that ain't you know, for me. It ain't for me. But the thing about America is, you know, it's all about freedom. So, if that's what you want to do, and you want to bring your child there and have a trans lady shake a tit of in his mouth, I, I can't <laughs> tell you not to. You know yeah, what can I say? That makes sense. What do you think about Jeffrey Epstein? Well, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Epstein, clearly. What the you think f- he killed himself? <laughs> <laughs> I can't, you know, I can't seek to comment on, you know, what might happen. There's a lot of dirty dealings in the world, but ultimately a bad man was brought down by the system and just tells you that the Justice Department is doing what they can. And oh, they yeah. They care about uh, Americans and <laughs> our freedoms. Uh, that makes sense, too. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about, st- yeah, all right. <laughs> Can't go how, up many, from Epstein. how many more questions do I have to ask for us? This <laughs> silly royal, royal character. <laughs> right. I don't know. There's oh, everybody. Our top guys. We'll have a new round coming around. But thank you. Get on the board now by signing up at patreon.com slash biggest problem, as well as backed.by yeah. slash biggest problem. Uh, next week, I think we'll have a new bonus episode coming to you. So oh, sign yeah. Up now. Is it Women's History Month? I don't know what it is. Please give us your suggestions in the comments. What would be a good theme? For our next bonus episode. Okay. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for the wig, Rye Dog. Thanks to everybody who contributed to uh, Super Chats. And uh, tell your friends about this show. That's a great wig. It's pretty good. I'm going to wear this all the time. All right. Bye, everyone. Goodbye. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. But that's the $100 that he gave. No, he gave $100 twice. <laughs> what? He gave another $100. Where? Oh, my God. Wait until the last fucking minute. All right, well, Andrew, uh, we will. It's, it, we'll owe you one next time. We owe you one for next we'll owe you week. One. Let's put it that way. But we yeah, do want to. We, yeah, we yeah. don't want to not acknowledge another hundred dollar donation. <laughs> Sorry. Right. Sorry, Andrew. We'll get you one for next. Time. We'll get you next week. All right. Goodbye. Okay.